Well, it would help if I unmuted myself. And let's let's have a look at my create a dashboard. To create a dashboard. And while that's loading, runs in hexes. All right. Keep talking, and nobody gets it. Ah, oh, what? Hmm. Oh no, it's on. It's muted. Hmm. Ah. Cool. Hi, player. And we are live. Welcome back to the Shady Highway with me, little fox. Um, today we watched the fi the final hour uh, of the um, of the much anticipated yay interview, um, which is just amazing. Um, yeah, just just incredible stuff. Um, and yeah, I've just been leveling up my, uh, this, this character, I guess. That's what I've been doing. Um, yeah. I'm not actually doing much of a grind, uh, lately, because I've realised that the grind, grinding writs doesn't really make sense to do until you're level 50 on all of them. But I guess getting the, getting the coins to, uh, upgrade your horse is important. So I should probably do that. So let's log out with you. Because actually no. I'm gonna log in. I'm gonna go to hmm? Sounds like the boys are fighting. I hope they're okay. Hope Auntie Lucy doesn't need to go in there and solve the problem. Because uh I don't know. I don't like stepping on people's toes, even though I just do it. <sighs> My nephews are the best. I love them. They're so cute. What's going on out here, man? Oh, that's a bad guy. Uh, I can be bothered dealing with you right now. Oh, there's another possible mission here. But yeah. Oh no, he's angry, he's gonna help me. Yep. Alright. Stabby, stabby! Oh. Whatever it is, it's up there. Oh, and there's a treasure chest. Might as well get that. I'm not focusing too much on the uh, collection right now because that's just gonna slow me down. Which is hard to do because, you know, I see something to collect and I want to collect it, but, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll collect this one. Oh, hello. Someone's hiding there. The Covenant. There we go. I think I found it. Oh no, wait. I guess still gotta go around. That's right. It feels. I feel bad that I'm attacking the Daggerfall Covenant. To be honest, because like the Daggerfall Covenant is the best, and they they need to win. I want the Daggerfall Covenant to win. I like them the most. Is this just me, or does this character just run faster naturally? Where's the other one? Oh, I must have gotten it. I could have sworn there was another. There was a start to a mission up here. Iron claws. Oh, yeah. I hope you're finding. Uh oh. Owie. So I need to throw treated net checks at the covenant. All right. Got him. Yeah. 
It is useful. Is that guy just attacking the ground? Stop that. Put a little bit of spin on that one. Hey man. You don't. I ran past you. You can wait there, wet axie. I cleared the way. Ooh. A couple of caches. Caches. Wake up in the morning, feel a life pay today. Well, it's really interesting how, like, she's just basically playing, playing a fucking part. Playing a role, basically. Like, Kesha's not like, yeah, it's a shame like her most current music I don't like, but oh well. Oh, rude. Ooh, there's another sky shot. To you too. I shot. Hey, Pact Guard. Hey, man. What's up? What's up, my lizard? Me, 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 it is a secret from the okay. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'll be there in a sec. Ooh. Two treasure chests. Need the ducky moss. Let me up. There we go. Thank you. I'm not doing too good with these chests today. That's okay. Okay. Now how do I get back up? Wow, so many treasure chests in this area. Also, what's going on over there? Why is that glowing? Girl! Hey, girl! Are they a couple? Aww. Aww. I ain't gonna steal your shit. You can, like, enjoy yourself. Nah, that's cute. I like that. Oh, more chests. Master chest art. Got it. Like a bouse. Right, let's get that um, sky shard run. Uh, I might um, find, go to the way shrine first and then get the sky shard. Go, sky shot of time. Ooh, Jack of the Trainee. Interesting. Whee! 
I need a helmet of training, I think. That's that, that that's all I need. Pardon me. Hey Jose, how are ya? Welcome. Did I get distracted again? I thought I was gonna do something. Oh that's right, I was gonna get back to the craft benches and that's when I got distracted. Yeah, I got another skill point. What am I gonna spend it on? Alchemy? No. Blacksmithing? No. Clothing? Potency? Provisioning? Okay. Argonian resistance. Max health? Nah. Um. He's skilled. World! Legged to man. Soul magic? No. Freezing your nuts off. You should come to Australia where the weather is... Ooh! Improved sneak. Reduces the cost of sneak by 4%. Reduces the size of your detection circle. Ah! That's what I need. Hells yes. Slaughter! Master assassin. Shadow. Siphoning. Oop, the boys are fighting again in the background. <coughs> Uh, what's this? Oh, okay. I've got all the sky shards in this area. And now I can find a... Damn it, since I'm here I should probably do the quest. How sometimes? Gotta do my... my daily grind. Wait, what? Oh, there's a supply tunnel, okay. Oh. oh yeah, I should probably, well... Who is attacking my boy? Who's attacking my boy? My boy Lance. Lance, Lance, he's he's a he's 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 a sweet boy. He's not my boy. That that'd be weird. He's a, he's a grown ass fucking man. Fucking Canada, eh? Lance of the Surf Times is uh, okay. one of the most embarrassing things to come from the bread tube phenomenon. I don't think uh -huh. the poor guy has ever won a debate. I'm not usually comfortable. Oh, fuck off. Okay. Oh, kayfabe, dude. Fucking hell. Stop acting as though, like, winning debates is praxis. Fuck off. Has nothing to do with bread tube, nothing to do with, like, left left wing politics. It's just that you, your your favorite streamers don't don't win or do do win. Fuck off! Oh my gosh. Being vitriolic. To just enjoy the fucking show. Jeez. Enjoy the show. Get more interested in what they do in their own time and what sort of like advocacy groups that they they you know work with, and what sort of things they platform. Get in, get involved in actual politics. Don't stop, like, expecting leftist debaters to win battles. I mean, like, seriously, grow up. Someone. But he's so disingenuous that I think it's warranted. When it comes to other left-leaning YouTubers, you can usually at least see where their popularity stems from, even if you disagree with them. Vosh says some very stupid things, but I wouldn't say he's not intelligent, and he's indubitably a good debater. I remember, I remember in high school using the word indubitably to sound smart. I'm not saying he's doing that now, but that's just really funny to me. I need to turn down the volume of my uh, game though, so just give me a second. Sucks to play, when you're playing a game that you can't pause, right? Uh, this is already getting on my nerves, because like, of the whole debate bro shit, sphere shit. Just, just fucking, yeah. Right. Or David Pakman, who I recently made a video on for being disingenuous, is at least smart. Surfs, however, doesn't have any of these positive qualities. 
as mentioned, he's lost every debate he's been in. It's, it's, like, debate, the winning debates doesn't make you smart. It just means that you are, like, good at... It just means you popular. It's just like um, in in like high school, you'd have like I don't know student council elections and stuff, right? And the popular people would win. It's just popular. It's a, a popularity contest. It's likability. That's all it is. And uh, people seem to like Vosh because um, he's a fucking edge lord. He's not actually smart. He doesn't actually know what he's talking about a lot of the time. He just is good at sounding smart. Like me. It's all about charisma. It's literally all it is. Stop acting as though, like, your favorite your favorite uh, bot boy streamer um, is smart because they win debates in your opinion. Isn't this your field of study? Yes, I'm an evolutionary biologist. Yeah, so why is your understanding of this so cartoonish? Like, I, I, I don't, I can't wrap my head around the idea that you think poor people were genetically predisposed to being poor. Well, I will let people judge who's more cartoonish bef be between the guy. This is what you're bringing up? A, this is, this is the debate that you bring up. I've, I've seen clips of this. JF doesn't have any studies to back up his points and like lance does like what do you think what do you what do you t in your opinion you feel like lance lost this debate okay i who okay. has no training in biology and asks for the poverty gene and the other guy who does have training in biology and who informs you that we have correlations between genes and poverty Um, correlation does not equal causation, my dude. And you informing us of your opinion... Like, no, I'm not getting sucked into that debate. That's fucking dumb. If you think that that was a fucking own, then there is something seriously wrong with your brain. Seriously. What is like, wrong with you? In your own group of friends, like, how many of them are non-white? Well, Scotland is 96% white. You're such a bitch, Lance. Doing all of this. I'll have to. Um... All all of these things like have nothing to. Wait, none of these clips have any substance to them at all. Neither neither um, Lance nor his opponents are bringing up anything of substance. No material analysis. Nothing. Lance is asking them a question. And they just turn around and say their opinions. And you think that, that wins? Yeah. Okay. Leftists. Okay. Fine. Okay. Whatever. Watch, because I haven't seen <clears throat> the exact moment of, of I guess, banning uh, that you're referring to. So let, let me watch that before I, I like uh, talk about how he was using it. <laughs> I want to bring up Lance's interaction with AJW. Actual. This is so fucking hilarious. What, what what makes people think that debates are won or lost, and uh, it's anything more than just uh, personal opinion by the audience? It's a popular a. It's a popularity contest, um, and b. Like, if you're going to show me clips of completely unsubstantial uh, evidence of Lance getting owned. Like, I, I thought this is, I thought this was about Lance being not intelligent rather than you just clipping, um, things that you think owned Lance, I guess, but we're or just, just worried. They had yeah. many back and forths, but in summary, Lance made a video on Michael Brown that was completely flawed. AJW made a response video completely. Okay. What well, was flawed about it? tearing Lance's one apart. The Surf's tacitly admitted the- The, the Destiny criticized about the chick he was seeing and famously relied on his like, I love you, idiot. I, I, I know, what? Wait, how do I get in? Oh no, I went the wrong way. 
Like, none of, the, none of the, this stuff just doesn't make any fucking sense. Oh, replied in his accent. I don't know what his accent is, sorry. I just know that Actual Justice Warrior is one of the, like, dumbest fucking debate bros I've listened to. Like, dumber than, dumber than Vosh. Doesn't bring up any, um studies, doesn't bring up anything of substance, just relies on charisma and nothing else. Like, that's what I consider when I'm looking at debate bros. I hate the whole, I hate the whole debate bros, bro sphere. The only reason I do, I get involved in that is because of, because of the clout and it's entertaining for people. Like, I hate debate bros. They, they don't add anything to discourse. Um... I like Lance because he at least understands that, that that fucking debate is not fucking praxis to a certain degree. But, like, all of these leftist debate bros think that they're, do they're, they're actually doing something when all they're doing is just fucking... They're just, like, participating in a wrestling match. Video was wrong by taking it down and re-uploading a new video. Then he comes out with this bizarre statement. An initial video that I had made as a uh, response to a PragerU video, and he uh, he called me out for several of the things. I wanted to correct some of the mistakes I made, and I re-released uh, that video, and I haven't heard uh, any commentary on the, the secondary release. I guess things were a little too, little too rock solid on that front. As if AJW is your babysitter, Lance is so proud of looking like a fool. This is equivalent to bragging, Oh, I don't need anyone to change my diapers today, as I didn't even soil myself. Okay, you're a grown man. Why do you wear diapers, and why do you need someone to change them for you? It's called a joke. You should be embarrassed, not smug. It's, and even you, more- you're, It's called a fucking joke, my dude. What? Embarrassing, I think he did go on to debunk that second video. Surfs and AJW went on to debate, and I want to play a clip from that showing how pathetic this guy really is. So Alright, please just show me, like, some actual substance. Some substantive bullshit. After I break this safe. Oh, that would detect it. They detected me. Dang it. Shit. I am notorious. Notorious lizard. That one. After getting destroyed for about an hour, Surfs is desperate for a win. Here, Sean aka Actual Justice Warrior, gets cut off. As you can hear, he disconnects mid-sentence. More number of murders than the city of Chicago. So that's the distinction in the police. So why why is that? Why, why are they doing that? Now, a normal person would assume the obvious, that there was some kind of internet issue. But serfs, being as disingenuous as he is, laughs it off, acting as if Sean. F Wait, I I use what? So you're gonna focus on something that had nothing to do with the debate, in order to claim that like Lance lost. What? You're not even engaging with the topic. What? Are you fucking talking about, my dude? What the fuck? Fled the debate. Did you leave? Are you still there? <laughs> Hello? Oh, he just muted himself. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Are you still there, Sean? Oh, he left! He left! <laughs> okay! <laughs> All right then. <laughs> well. <laughs> Sean.
Sean, however, suddenly bursts his bubble as he attempts to rejoin. <laughs> Sean, are you back? Hello? Like, this is, this is the, I've watched this debate, right? And AJ had absolutely nothing on, nothing on, on, like, what he was trying to claim. Yet this, this, this motherfucker cares more about, um, like, a technical issue rather than that. Okay. This is Praxis, people. I saw, he just reconnected. This is the worst fucking Sean? video. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, what happened? Uh, I disconnected, probably. Oh, okay. Yeah, where where did you lose me? By rejoining, Sean pretty much disproves... What? That's the point? ...what the serfs was trying to imply. Policing tech. That's the point. You think the debate was about whether um, whether AJ tried to run away or not? Okay. Sure. Don't focus on any of the substance. What the fuck? This is so fucking Back weird. Is, as I was saying before, my internet shorted out or whatever happened. It's not necessary. What craven, childish behavior from the serfs? He looks in the camera as if to say, "Come on." We know what really happened. Who cares? As if it's so unlikely that someone can have internet issues for two minutes. Use uh, Occam's razor. Uh, okay. Okay. Who, who cares? Again. Um. Who, who gives a shit? Dude. My dude. My humble little dude. Who... Who gives a shit? I honestly just... Do not care. Um. Yeah. What the fuck? For Christ's sake. Another hilarious episode in the cringe- You're talking about childishness, but you don't seem to understand what debates are, even in, like, a general sense. Not in, in like, an internet sense. Not even, like, in a, um, like, let alone in an actual, like, official format. You don't understand, seem to understand anything about this shit. That's crazy. Saga is Surf's debate with Lauren Southern and Counterpoints. The guy got absolutely exterminated. He did no, a he response didn't. video where he's completely in denial of- How can you- so, so, the, so by saying that Lance has got, got exterminated, you're saying that you agree with Lauren Southern that like race realism is a thing and that the Great Replacement is a thing? Holy shit! His loss. This is this is this is this is this is fucking just the but most baby brain shit ever. This is just like oh, this person doesn't argue in the way I want. <laughs> they suck. <sighs> I have barely anything to latch onto because the, this video has absolutely zero substance to it. Anything to latch onto because this video has absolutely zero substance to it. It's just... Okay, so he got absolutely destroyed in what way? Your example? Technical dis As difficulties. many of you know, the debate went down on Thursday. Uh, I ended up editing the debate. We released it about two and a half to three and a half hours. Sorry, that's my internet because um, of the loading screen. Loading, loading in ESO tends to, for some reason, screw everything up of the video coming out got overwhelmingly good reception um including to new youtube customers that it was being served to a lot of people obviously said that things were mixed uh i had a handful of comments flood into my inboxes uh, i got comments coming into my dms comments coming into my twitter my discord my email uh, most of which were pretty positive usually when a debate happens with two content cre wait, what? creators say vosh Wait, what? Who cares? Wait, wait, what? Like, show me something from the debate, not what- not like these personal fucking attacks. This- this video is ad hominem, the video. ...and Destiny, for example. Due to biases, you'd expect people on Vosh's channel 
to say Destiny was destroyed, and people on Destiny's channel to say Vosh was destroyed. That's the normal flow of things. But even Surf's own fans turned on him. This is a poll I found from Vosh's Reddit page. The Surf's and Vosh are congenial. They have similar- What? That was Vosh's page. Vosh, Vosh fans hate the Surf's. What are you talking about? You're you're bringing up a poll on one of on the Vosh community, which is one of the most toxic communities on the internet. What the fuck? Okay, but yeah, popular ideas. And like Vosh often comes to the surf's defense, so you'd expect in a place like Vosh's subreddit for the people to be biased in favor of Lance. I, I would not ex expect that at all. I would expect that those that the people who are fans of Vosh and think that Vosh is a good at debate um, are probably one of the worst communities that you could look at to get an opinion of these things. Besides, you're not proving anything other than debate is a popularity contest and it is effectively entertainment and uh, the only people that lose are the people who are not entertained so ipso facto the final answer author of this video that we're watching is a fucking loser but two-thirds of people said he either did bad or he altogether sucked with mm -hmm. half of them saying he sucked as okay. dismal as that looks for the serfs the comments on his own who channel cares? prove even worse Wait, what, what's, what, what has that got to do with the debate What's that got to do with the debate topic? Seriously. Seriously. So can, can somebody, like, can somebody explain to me that how that has anything to do with the debate topic in any fucking way? Like, please, someone, explain. It's just... Popularity contest. That's all it is. There's tons of comments just flat out making fun of him, but I didn't want okay. to pick up those ones. Okay. I think the ones coming from his own fans are even more hilarious. Uh -huh. Love your content, Lance. But yeah, this was a mistake. I don't think you're equipped for this right now. I, I don't understand. Like, so, so you're saying that he was destroyed in that debate, but you're not going to show um, how he was destroyed in that debate. You're just going to be, pick random comments and say that he was destroyed. Oh, but gosh. I, surely enjoy I, I can't latch on to anything in this because there's absolutely no substance. For your content, but I just don't think debates are your thing. <laughs> this is his own fans, people who care for him. And they just don't want to see him embarrass himself anymore, clearly. Lance, please give up on debates. Take a step back. This is a serious topic. It deserves better. The people deserve better. I love you, Lance. Love your politics, humor. Is this, just, is this guy just cooming over, like, people hating on Lance? Is that is that what this is? It's just, just cooming, cooming, just cooming buckets and general takes on issues. You're still god-awful at debating on your feet. Practice in a safer venue? <laughs> this is just interesting to me. It's like, why do? You, how do you think people get better at uh, debates? Do, do you think that that happens through not debating? <laughs> Can we get a safe space for Lance, please? Somewhere where he'll feel comfortable debating? Maybe in a room full of babies where he won't be outsmarted? Because, see, I think Lance feels comfortable debating. I think that's not the problem here. This is by far my favourite one. I swear, there's a ton of burner accounts telling Lance he should stop debating. Or at the very least, <laughs> debate in a safer venue. Fuck that. Southern isn't some god at debating. Even if she was let Lance to debate her, challenges are greatest for your growth. You go for it, yeah. Lance. Even if you yeah. seem to lose... Your virtue and dignity, fuck the haters. Yeah. This guy trying to be supportive is like, hey, Lance, even though you look like a complete idiot and lose your dignity, just keep doing mm -hmm. it anyway. 
I think that's again, fun. again, like you're just talking about a popularity contest. So I guess to this person, he would argue that people win debates because of popularity contests. So the popularity, so the whether people like you or not is uh, whether you win a debate. So it really doesn't matter what you're debating. <laughs> If people don't like you, then you lose the debate. That's that's fucking hilarious. Fantastic, and I agree completely. It's not with even this a, it, it's not even a debunk. This this guy just doesn't doesn't have any uh, ability to engage with um, content. Further than look, this the people from Vorsh's uh, subreddit don't like Lance. Okay, tell me something I fucking didn't know. <laughs> tell me something I can like react to like yeah people from Vorsh's channel hate anyone who doesn't like lo lockstep with uh, Vorsh's opinions at all times um yeah nothing 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 to it really nice. if Lance keeps <laughs> making a fool out of himself then I can keep making content thanks Lance yeah okay um it would have been great if you'd shown us how he made a fool of himself rather than just like comment random comments online i'm not this isn't me defending lance or anything i mean i personally enjoyed those debates and found that uh, lance had really good points in them um particularly in the lauren southern debate where he points out how fucking how, how the, the way the great replacement uh, conspiracy theory is just that a conspiracy theory uh, based in anti-Semitism, um, and you can, I guess, disagree with those things, but then you would need to bring up something of substance that I can actually look at and and comment on and uh, argue with, you know, debate. But you've protected yourself by saying, oh, the people have spoken, people hate him. Okay. Who cares? Really? Fuck the haters, really. Like, who gives a fuck? I enjoy Lance's content. Crimea River, bro. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't really give a fuck about your opinions if you don't have any that I can react to. Because you don't have any opinions of your own, it seems. All you have is the opinions of random people online, which is, I guess, pretty sad that you can't make up uh, make up your own position by yourself. I guess, yeah. Would have been nice to see some substance. Oh, well. Do 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 do. Provisioner materials delete. Woodworker materials delete. Blacksmith materials delete. Raw clothing materials delete. Oh yeah. Now I need to find some um what's names? Some iron hide scraps. So I guess I need to kill some animals. Let's do that. While I set up <coughs> for I've got my daily Matt Walsh quote in the background here. All ready for us. Put the counter up. Oh yeah, we're getting back into it. Alright. Let's continue our descent into madness after this short break. I'm going to get myself a snack because I really want a snack. Um, don't go anywhere or do either way though we'll be right back after this short break uh, where we'll start talking about uh, the yay controversy, controversy again for the final hour 
of uh, the of the um, I guess the interview panel, where shit just goes off the wall. All right, and I'm back. I'm back. Doors locked, and I've got everything set up. So let's get back to it, shall we? So what do we, let's recap. Um, they've basically um, created a brand new QAnon conspiracy theory um, around the, the Balenciaga um, controversy, um, which you know is was was a really bad fucking campaign. Shouldn't have happened, but it's got nothing to do with like a like a. Um, it's got nothing to do with blood libel. Stop bringing Jewish people into everything, please, please. Um, let's just fucking head straight into Rita it, Christy, right? But it's still his platform. It's up to him. But also, I'm not a person that's going to say, hey, I agree with everything. There's things that I said today that you guys don't agree with because you're not in the same place or in the same position in your walk that I'm at. I'm in a position where I love the person who the doctor that had plastic surgery on my mom. I always have been in a way where it's, I can't hate. I am you said your mother was sacrificed. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, I believe that Michael Jordan's dad was sacrificed. I believe, uh, didn't something happen with Tiger Woods? Yeah. Uh, my mom, these are all... T T Tiger Woods cheated on his wife. Kanye? Zionist uh, sacrifices that happened. But this is Satan at the end of the day. There's a lot of people that feel like we're at the end of days. And... Jesus runs the world. God runs the world. Jesus is the real king of Israel. And I'm, I'm just a simple servant of, of God. I'm, I'm not a mathematician. Oh, no, I hear you. You, you. you said white lives matter because I think you, I'm going to put words in your mouth. You understood that they're trying to demonize white people to create a crisis and for us to fight with each other. I thought that was very true. I think all lives matter. But you went even stronger and said white lives matter. You got criticized for that. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, I thought that I, I thought that that it's a was a dumbass right. thing to do. I felt that I, I you, it actually wasn't your right because um yeah you can't you couldn't even sell them because uh the all white oh, white lives matter is uh, trademarked already to prevent people from profiting off of uh, hate. All lives matter is effectively the same as white power. It's a response to Black Lives Matter, just in the way that um, white power was a response to black power movements. Like, that, that, that's just what it is. That's just what it is. I just exercise rights that are only uh, given to whites. A white person can wear a t-shirt that says Black Lives Matter, but for a black person to wear a t-shirt that says White Lives Matter, that somehow makes me racist. So I love just going up and saying, hey, what do you think about this? What about that? And if we don't use, if we don't use our consciousness, they're trying to beat us into our consciousness and make us ignorant. They want to dumb us down. And I'm probably the lowest IQ here of anyone speaking. And I'm saying, say out loud what we feel we would no longer be ran by the idea of fake influence and celebrities i did yeah, i'm gonna interrupt you no no, I, no, no 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 hold on alex don't interrupt me i denounce <laughs> i denounce every celebrity i denounce every celebrity i ever stood next to god bless you and you know that's the christian word of what i really want to say any celebrity only celebrity that i rock with is ray j literally every every one of y'all others y'all all saw come see me when y'all want to see me every fake gangster so-called killer any basketball player the fuck do you know about being a gangster kanye like you told you said you said it yourself you like stopped you stopped fucking aging because you became a celebrity any rapper any actress any musician any model any editor come see me come see god's child right now please i want it i want i want to see my mama you know what i'm saying dude you can't you can't touch in jesus name baby i, I was gonna say this though i want to be clear you say you have the lowest IQ of anybody here. I'm not kissing your ass. Yeah, that's not true. There's different types. IQ is just one test. It's one thing. There's 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 cultural IQ. There's mathematical. There's spiritual. There's 
There's there's you know, there's economic savants. There's art savants, and I, I can tell you, I'm an idiot savant. Uh, that's a French word. It doesn't mean I'm actually an idiot. It means that I don't know a lot of stuff, but things I know, I know. Like I I, I don't even get into it, folks. But it's it's ridiculous. Okay. I, I can wake up at 5 a.m. 5 a.m. and Cardi also. And I can tell you what time the clock's going to say before I look at it. A little weird thing I can do. The point is, is that, is that, is that there's savants that actually bring the world to the Amish next level. Amish Conor McGregor. Yeah, right. People need to take that for what it is. I wouldn't call you autistic. But you are have a savantish uh, thing about you, and I, and I think that's a positive, not a negative. Uh, Nick, you want to say anything? Uh, you want to say anything, Ollie or Owen? And Fabio. Yeah, I want to say this, you know, uh, this is a story that uh, that Ye shared. I'm not even going to ask permission because he said he's nobody's hard drive, so I'm nobody's hard drive. You know, Ye was hanging out with Elon, and Elon was sitting there, and they were under a rocket launch, and Elon says to Ye, you know, you have the highest EQ. So there's also the EQ. And what, what? I think Ye is talking about is, like, we've assembled a powerful group of Avengers. We have different what? experiences, uh, different expertise. We, in fact even interpret information differently. But we've all got a superpower and we've got to contribute it to taking what down- What the fuck is AQ? On the perma state, the deep state, the globalist, whatever anybody wants to call this, you know, this group that's running us, this depopulation group, uh, we've got to, you know, rage war against the machine. This idea of the depopulation is a myth. It's a, it's another anti-Semitic conspiracy theory. It's, it's, it's just the white, st the white replacement on steroids. Steroids, at the end of the day. Machine. If everybody rushes. Emotional to quotient. All right. So like, in the intelligence, uh, the IQ and EQ and all of these things, like basically just test how good you are at passing a test. It doesn't actually test how you use your brain in day-to-day -day events. It's all just silly. Cancelled? They can cancel none of us. And so I think that today, again, is a historic day in which it's not about agreement. It's an agreement and disagreement against them. No, I agree, way, I agree that this is about saying free speech is sacrosanct. And even if you disagree with something, it should be celebrated instead of demonizing well, wait, it. Wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me interrupt here. And, and, and Nick is actually the person who's talked best about this. And this is where I think that, like, Laura Loomer who is a Zionist Jew, conservative, and patriot, and then you, who are uh, kind of libertarian or conservatarian, and, and, and Owen's kind of conservatarian, would disagree with Nick and I, who, you know, might be in more of the Catholic tradition. We would totally support blasphemy laws. Totally. You know, and I don't want to speak for him, but, you know, what Nick points out is that you have to have a right to dissent. That is way more powerful than, you know, move free speech, where we're actually rigging the system to have what Ye is talking about, Instagram and no, Absolutely, Ollie. We're going to come right back to you in a moment. Ye wants me to tweet on his so he's not, giant... Uh, with he's not a free speech, speech, speech absolutist yeah, at Alex all. Jones, uh, put it up from my Twitter. Hi, Ari Emanuel. How, how's it going? How's, how's your wife's clothing line? Here, let's do an overhead shot here, please, guys, so I can do this. I haven't tweeted in so long, I hardly remember how this works. You guys do an overhead shot for me? All right, so this is uh, Ye's phone here, and I just want to say I love... Love, L O V, the Jews. <laughs> that you would say that? It's true. I do love them. First, how do you say amendment? AMT? What's the abbreviation? Um, AMDT, I think. Not sure. Yeah, I got it. I love the First Amendment. Uh, long live. Yay. Got to capitalize that, though. All right, I'm gonna tweet that. I love the First Amendment. Long live yay. I hope. No, 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 we're gonna pray. No hoping, we pray. No, I, I pray. Uh -huh. Pray Elon. Elon is for real. No, pray to God, not to Elon. Pray that God. I pray to God, I agree, I'll say that. I pray. To Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Say his name. There's power. There's strength in the name. Oh, my gosh. Jesus. Okay, I pray to Jesus <coughs> that, uh, that that Elon is for real. What is? What do you mean by for real? What does that mean? For real about what? Be more specific. Trying to free up the internet. Write that. Right that. I, I believe he I'm is. Fucking Jesus. hell. Fucking hell. Like, I'm going to let everyone else use my, use my uh, Twitter. But no, no, you're going to write exactly what I tell you to. 
Fucking hell. What a what a fucking ego, eh? Hey? That really? Apple doesn't deplatform Elon for freeing the internet. I hope he's for real. No. Pray that Apple doesn't deplatform Elon for freeing the internet. For That's he just completely he different. Not now, but I hear you. And then dot dot dot. Wait. Oh fucking hell! Also, Alex just debunked. A cons did. Can you post your D on my Twitter? Wait, what? What D? Why? <laughs> oh no! I thought you were talking to me. Oh my gosh! I'm like hell no. <laughs> Oh, talking about the uh, <laughs> fucking Alex Jones starts like pulling out his dick and pulling out his dick and put it posting dick pics to his Twitter. Fucking hell. But yeah, like Alex Jones just debunked something on his own show. He usually comes up with the conspiracy theories. He just debunked one. That's hilarious. <laughs> I love the First Amendment. Long live ye. I pray to Jesus that Elon is for real. Bam! I'm back on Twitter. Back on Twitter. <laughs> there you go. We give it to him now. Here you go, buddy. <laughs> 35 million or whatever it is followers. This is great ideas you're having, man. Yay. I, I have a few good ideas. I, I believe, let me talk for a second. Don't cut me off. I have a few good ideas. I have ideas that surpass the idea of just being a black face for the Trump administration. Just being Elon's cool friend at a concert. Does he ever listen to himself sometimes? I actually have real ideas, Tim Cook. I actually have real ideas. And I get marginalized into these places. And I understand people are afraid of the truth. The best EQ on the planet. When I went to people like David Simon and Jamie Salter and all these Jewish businessmen, they would offer me things like, hey, we'll give you one store. And I got frustrated. I got frustrated with the gap, you with what? Adidas, of being held back. And people act like they're going to help you, but they really control you like how Jamie Salter controls Shaquille O'Neal or the NBA controls Shaquille O'Neal. And this is nothing, no knock to our brother. All uh, black people feel the way I feel, but nobody wants to go broke. No one else can take a $2 billion hit and <laughs> still have $400 I million. I do, I do you know? like that. So that's that. God putting me in a position to be able to fight battles that other people can't fight. Yeah, the but the people, the real people, they're standing up they're talking the, the, the problem how can anybody disagree with this it's awesome there you go <laughs> all right now we got ali alexander and everybody's right, hunched over the uh, tweet for fuck's sake. what are you tweeting uh let's see how about this can we shift the camera over there guys I know. what the fuck is with this like um website this website sucks i have a few good ideas I where is it where'd it go you know this is, is Infowars, right? Mumbaye. I don't know. Affirmations. There we go. I'm glad. I'll tag myself. There we go. You're supposed to. Battles that other. There we go. Sorry, it just didn't work for a second there. It just fricked up. Uh, why is Ye masking his face? Oh, it's because of a. It's because of a. It's just a statement against um corporate 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 um exploitation, but like it really falls flat. Um, nobody really understands what he was trying to do by it, and once you have to explain it, it becomes like pointless. You know what I mean? Like people understand like that. But, um, and the white paper, the white pieces of paper against censorship and stuff like that. But like. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I, I love I love how here how Alex just basically ignored him in the end of the day and did what he wanted. Go Alex, <laughs> what a fuck with people can't fight, but the people, the real people, they're standing up, they're talking. The the, the problem. How can anybody disagree with this? It's awesome. There you go. <laughs> All right, now we got Ali Alexander. Everybody's right, hunched Nick, over the tweet Nick, command base. Nick, what are you tweeting? Uh, let's see. How about this? Can we shift the camera over there, guys? I know it's hard, but yeah. How about Christ is King, America first. What else? Death of the New World Order. No, no, no death. That's that's God's battle. We mean politically. Okay. Yes. yes. Uh, 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 well, a little self-serving. Don't visit Infowars.com. <laughs> uh, no, Alex Jones is right. I should say that. Uh, I like I like the Infowars part actually. How about Groiper? Well, <laughs> well your Groiper thing, but also say don't visit Infowars.com. <laughs> Groiper. Okay, and I'll tag myself. There we go. You're supposed to say Infowars. He tells you to. I put what he put about Jesus. <laughs> should I put Infowars? 
Infowars. Don't visit Infowars.com. Don't visit. No, yes. Do all pro the way that you, as a master of the universe, the way that you push ideas forward is all positive affirmations. I'm glad that billions of you are going to visit Infowars. Yeah, I'm I, glad that I, billions are going to visit Infowars. Ari Emmanuel, if your wife needs any help on her creative <laughs> direction, <laughs> I just swear she gets mad. I will so thoughtful, gladly yeah. help you. Even though you tried to destroy my life, I will help your wife on the creative direction, and I will not do anything unchristian oh when we're in the room together. <laughs> I won't do anything man. unchristian. You literally said that you love Hitler. What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> uh. These people's idea of what Ari, Christianity is is just me to help your weird. Wife her line, You're I'm weird. Here. Okay. Here What'd we you go. put out? We're gonna put it on screen. I put out Christ is King, America First, Groiper, and then I put Beautiful. Bible.com. Beautiful. Uh, did you put the InfoWars thing? He yeah. did, he did. It's good. That'll okay. give him a heart attack. I, I go, Ali Alexander, what are you going to tweet from Ye's Twitter? Oh, shit. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to, can I get this real quick? Yeah. By the way, anytime you're just flying over, you want to land, come on the show. We do it once a week. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna write about uh, the J6 victims. I think that we should think about them. Ye, Ye did more. We got to. Oh yeah, we got the camera. So Ye did more than the Republican establishment, than the conservative establishment. To here, come sit in my chair. Come sit in my chair. Oh, you right here. I'll be back in two minutes. Take a piss. Go ahead. I'm listening. So Ye did more than the Republican Classy. establishment, than the conservative movement to highlight the due process abuses. And the torture. And Laura, could you stop calling while we're live on air? I mean, my gosh. <laughs> Girl, you know, she's on the spectrum too, though. So she's got that, you know. Are you couple. serious? But, Fucking so I think that we need to talk about the J6 uh, victims. So let's, all caps, invest. J6 of victims? What are you talking about? You mean the, the, you mean the, uh, the police that, um, like, killed themselves and stuff? And the people that were, like, trampled? Um, you're talking about the, um... Surely he's talking about uh, the misinformation campaign and all of that. That's what he's talking about, right? 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 I don't know why my button's not working. The gate, the civil rights, and oh, yeah. do Agreed. process violations of the J6 political political prisoners they're not political prisoners dude that they they, they they broke the fucking law and they tried to do a coup they violently broke into the fucking capitol building to try and stop a ceremony from happening a a mostly um what, what's the word like not fake but like something that you do as like uh, oh, damn i can't remember what the word is but like some of the some of the current members uh the, yeah the election certification is is like mostly a ceremonial thing more than like an actual thing like the, the, the results would have been certified either way you were just like disrupting a ceremony rather than actually doing anything you had your chance yeah it's just dumb ah these people what's in there wait where, where is this one talk to savannah why do I have to talk to Savannah? Hmm? Oh, yeah. Why is this stopped working? It's not working. Damn it. I have to do it manually now. Far out. That's Why so annoying. were the only people killed unarmed protesters mm. that day? Free Alex. Free. What do you mean, Nick? free Alex? 
Free Nick. Nicholas. What, what what is he talking about? Like no, none of these people are in prison right now, unfortunately. Like what are you talking about? Oh my gosh, this is annoying. Hmm. Free speech. Hmm. Free speech. Ugh. <laughs> and free Ollie. <laughs> That's not fr like. What do you mean? But they're not. They're Boom not Baye. like restricted. Boom they're Baye. just banned. <laughs> free Alex from himself. I don't... Free Free Alex yeah, from this um, Minecraft that. plane. Ducking autocorrect. <laughs> Sweet. There we go. Did we get the overhead of that? Let's get the team to uh, get the camera. Get the camera. <laughs> I love the crew. I love the crew. But get the camera. Zoom in. <laughs> That's what I want. Get the mask. Get the mask. Get the mask. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I should. Oh, I missed yeah, you're the mask. Get the mask. Yeah, no, no don't free him from that. Yeah, do it. All right, I love this crew, but, you know, sometimes, sometimes they can just be stubborn. Zoom in, overhead shot. Zoom in, Who overhead is this shot. guy, anyway? I'm sorry, I'm just a retard. <laughs> we love Alex. Who else would let us do this? All right, we got to do this time. Thank you very much, Ollie. I want to go back to Owen quick and... Yeah, he's welcome to stay as long as he wants, but he's got a lot of big stuff going on. A great idea having folks tweet uh, out. Allegedly. Uh, what else do you want to tweet? Yeah, who knows? Maybe Kanye, what, maybe Ye was never here. It's never a disrespect when I call you Kanye. I've just been calling you that for 20, 15 years, so it's like you call him my, you know, my brother or something, a name, and then he changed his name, but Ye is even better. And it's definitely taking taken hold. I think it's an awesome name. But 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 seriously, Ye, uh, what else do you want to tweet out? You can respect a man changing his name, but you can't respect a trans woman, like, changing her name. Why? Fuck all of you people. The folks, is everything right now is going super mega total viral. What is your message to Trump right now? What's your message to DeSantis right now? I don't know who DeSantis is. I never heard of the guy. No, I hear you. Well, You're running for president, you fucking... All the elites back in the Santa's gives me a lot of concern. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. It's like, we love Trump. We love Ye. That's right. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm with you. It's Ye and Trump and anybody going for DeSantis or McCarthy. Uh, that's just not the energy. That's not the vibe. That's not MAGA. That's not Jesus energy. That's not dragon energy. So, and I like what Ye said about people need to just put it all on the line and finally tell the truth. That's the problem. Well, here's the bottom line. You're not a white supremacist. I, I've heard, I've seen your show. You love everybody. You stand up for white people. Everybody should stand up for themselves and everybody else. It's yeah. a load of crap that you're a white supremacist. True. Yeah. yeah and I, I, I didn't, didn't think that that might like piss him off any. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Are you serious, dude? Yeah. <sighs> what am I talking about? Of course he's serious. Did you help round up Jews like George Soros? No. Okay. Well then I don't want to hear anything. Yeah. I don't want George Soros didn't round up anyone. He was he was like confiscate. He was he was uh, confiscating um, uh, belongings uh, to try and escape from being in the same position. Like there's not a lot of choice there for him. There that was pretty cool. Co a pretty coercive environment. Hear anything from the ADL or anybody else? Yeah. But for the ADL, I want to say there's a lot of good Nazis that were just fighting for their country, and for them, oh, like George Soros. Are they for them all to get put in a box? They're all in a box. Yeah. <laughs> Every Nazi's bad. Yep. Well, could some of the Nazis have just been fighting for their country? Oh, they're all. Oh, we can't. We can't put them all in a box. What was your current their country fighting to do? They weren't doing a defensive war, you idiot. They were doing an offensive fucking colonial endeavor to try and colonize the countries around them and steal land. What the fuck? Box? No, I get you're, you're explaining that, like you said, you love the Zionists. You don't agree with some of the things they're doing, even though you don't support a lot of what's happening. Seriously, I've, I've really studied a lot of history. Plus, I had family that was there. And so, I mean, I, I don't think Hitler was a good guy. I get the uh, the Hugo Boss uniforms, amazing. Uh, but, I mean, just because you're in love with the design, you're a designer, can we just kind of say, like, you like the, the you like the uniforms, but that's about no, it. No, we, we, no, I, there, there's a lot of things that I love about Hitler. 
a lot of things. Hey, uh, Netan, what did you think about that, Netan? This is insane. You are an insane person. How could you say something? It's okay that- So let me ask you, you like the Azog Battalion because they openly howl Hitler. They're the leftovers of World War II. They support Zelensky and attacking Russia. So you like the Azog Battalion. I love everyone. Well, my point is you weren't involved with Hitler. You didn't do anything. So having the ADL say anybody that yeah. opposes communism and, and the New World Order is a Nazi, well, you kind of get what you give. You no, know? No, one, no one cares about the ADL. They're played out. Jesus well, is they run. Harvard. They, they ran Twitter till last week. But they, yeah, here they don't run what anything. The fuck? No, they didn't. The they never ran. No they, the ADL doesn't run Twitter. What are you talking about, dude? They're played out. Look at... People have had a problem. Look at... Uh, like seriously, like he's he is trying. He's not just trying to save yeah. He's trying to save his show from getting like Clockwork shut down. Morris, there's a part where a Jewish guy makes the guy kiss the shoe, and he says, "Kiss the lick the kiss the Jew." Like people have had issues with Jewish people forever. But what I'm saying is, I love Jewish people. I love Jewish. Yes, we're talking about Stanley Kubrick. Put the war room background up. The end there. So, <laughs> I, so, you think Clockwork Orange is about Jews? Absolutely. Look at it. Again. I thought it was about a collapsing. You know, Stanley Kubrick was a Jew. Oh wow. I know his daughter. He was a great guy. Yeah. So I mean, he made. Donald he Trump keeps on trying. He keeps on trying. I, I got to be honest with you. I don't know. I, 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 I see incredible not. literature and art and music and just so many great, uh, so much great stuff Jews do. Just like I see so many great things black people do or any other group. Like you know, Beethoven was German. I don't blame Beethoven for Hitler. Yeah. Yeah. And, White people love the shit that minorities do because, you know, we, 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 we steal it and commodify it and corrupt it through capitalism. Like, yeah, we love the, the shit that uh, Jewish people create and black people create and all of these people create because, um, you know, we love to steal it and take it for ourselves. I believe in free speech. Well, what about Wagner? Well, they demonized Wagner because only because Hitler liked it. Or Adi Dossler or Hugo Boss. We have all this demonization. We don't care anymore, ADL. Obviously, no one cares. Shut up. No one cares. Jesus is king. Shut up. It's done. Tomorrow. It's uh, all the next day. But, you know, German cars do break down and it costs a lot of money to fix. Germans make really good cars. I think the Japanese make better ones. Germans had a really cool leader at one time. Oh my god. For fuck's this, sake, but, dude. I drive mainly American cars. He's like I, he's like that one like edgy kid in the class that draw <laughs> that likes to scratch what stickers on the fucking woodwork. For fuck's sake. It's the reason Sister Rosetta thought it was only indu inducted half a century after her death in the Rep and Roll Hall of Fame that many of them, including others, said that she was Really? Um I, but when it comes to company cars, inducted indicted the damn things don't break. I mean, it is ridiculous. You know what? You I know mean? the Japanese bitch to the, the globalist groups. They want to make light oh, bulbs go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Sorry, I would thought I, I was thinking I was moving ahead. The like, um, uh, Sister Rosetta Tha Tharp was um, a black singer, wasn't she? She was like, you know, like the one of the root roots of like most most white people um, who stole music. Yeah. Years. They want to make cars never break. You know they can do that. The Japanese are pissed. Like that, that, that's why they've not said they're for electric cars. They go, these don't. Uh, you should see. You should see how many uh, Jamaica streets there are in WA. Don't work. It takes more carbon. Why are you doing this? That's what <laughs> needs to be broken. You get what I'm saying? It's like I want to say with Ben Shapiro, he was so disrespectful to his employee Candace Owens for speaking out against me, and that just shows you another level of this kind of control that's out there. No, I agree. Yeah. I like Candace. She has a lot of courage. She's a really smart, beautiful lady. She's really defended you. Uh, but, I mean, are you saying Ben Shapiro's got her on a leash? I think it's pretty obvious. You know, as our Paul Watson, we didn't launch her. She deserved it. But InfoWars launched Candace Owens. Yes, but everyone is still controlled by the Jewish media. We need to serve Christ first. Christ oh, first. Sake, everyone, dude. period. Trump, okay, but you say Christ the Jewish first. media. Let, let, let me just bring up a real world example. I'm not just, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get there. I only met Matt Drudge once. He came here, hung out a few hours, and went to dinner. He's Jewish. I never asked for anything. He never told me what to do. He only sent a few emails here and there to writers uh, saying, hey, you know, uh, when you break something, email it to me. 
and he was a Jewish guy that totally helped us go to the next level. We would have been successful without him, but he he like supercharged it. Then suddenly he flips the other side, never talked to him again, and, and his website's like a Democrat hellscape. But I'm just saying, it's like I've known a lot of Jews in my life, and I didn't have the Hollywood experience you had. Uh, I actually, all the Jews in my life, uh, overall, were, were, were very nice people, is all I'm saying. I'm, I'm actually tired of hearing about the Jews. Like, I love them. Honestly, I don't even care that much, <laughs> you know. But we I, spent the last three out, two hours talking about them. Because I mean, it's fun. It's fun. Being you don't want to hear about them. You want to talk about them all because day. Because being canceled is fun because we're showing you guys the extent that you can go, right? Because everything at this point that you do proves my point. Watch this. If I say Death Con 3, oh, that, and then sorry. you cancel uh -huh. all of my deals, you prove... I miss that. The re the reason the reason I said Jamaica Street um is because of slavery. We we have streets named after slavery in Australia. Exactly why I needed to go DefCon. No, no, I agree with let what you just said. Let me stop you because because Dave Alex, Chappelle. Alex, Alex, Alex go ahead, go ahead. let me channel. All right, let go me ahead. Channel. All right. If 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 I uh, and uh, Dave Chappelle works for the Jews anyway, so. If, if I say, oh, uh, now I forgot what I had to say. Let me meditate. Let me get into a place. I'm right sorry. Here. Go ahead. Love you, brother. Uh, Jesus is king. Um, if I. Anti-Semitism is fun for these people, though. They think it's fucking fun. I say, if I go on this, on this interview and I say, I love Hitler. And then they go and 5150 me and try to lobotomize me like we saw Harley Passenac do. Or they put me in prison. It just proves what I'm saying, and it's. Um, if you go to prison, Kanye, it'll be for tax fraud, not because you're an anti-Semitic piece of shit, who's just like, you like. I don't even know. I don't even know if he really believes the shit he's saying. He might be just. This might be all part of his statement, but to be so blasé and to use the suffering of an entire group of people in this manner. Um, you can go, f like, fuck yourself right off a, um, Minecraft cave cliff. And for some reason, the, the, it doesn't It's gonna play. spark the high schools. My button it's gonna spark working. the grammar schools. It's gonna spark the colleges that say, <sighs> enough is enough. It doesn't matter how on the spectrum you think I am. I have the right to speak out loud. That is our first amendment and it's a sh you have the right to freedom of speech from the government you have no rights when it comes to corporations which is why we need to tear corporations down to the ground like capitalism is the problem it is not a solution to you can't solve capitalism with capitalist policies you need to tear that system down and it's not because of jewish people because it's much easier to blame a group of people um, and create a scapegoat than it is to create a new system from scratch. Um, you can see the results of creating new systems from scratch every single time. Every single time a new system is created from scratch, it leads to mass deaths! And they think that the, they're the rich that's ruining it, yeah. Yeah, they think that you can that 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 uh, oh yeah, capitalism can work. It just it's just if we get rid of this group of people. That's basically it. <sighs> Shame that you have to be considered to be on the spectrum to have enough courage to speak out. You're nobody thinks you like have autism unless this is something new that's come out. I don't know. We the articles of the game that some people complained and uh, oh, communism was OP. No, send it to me, <laughs> please. Oh my gosh, that's so loud. Nice. I do love my family, right? But I looked at every possible outcome. I've practiced Chinese water torture on myself. I would, I, I would like skip along Malibu in front of my house and sing, when the Clintons come to kill me, how is it going to be? What are they going to do to kill me? Wait a second, Netton, what do you have to say about this? Netton, don't wanna say Netton. What I'm trying to get at here is, yay, <laughs> that 
I, I don't think the father of the future revolution against tyranny is Hitler. And Hitler said a coming man was coming that would be the next Hitler that would destroy the New World Order and the whole system. He, he wanted his own New World Order. He thought it would come out of America. Do you know about Hitler and his coming man? No, I don't know about that. But what we have to well, I just think you I, should not want to be Hitler's coming man. I didn't say I was. I don't I don't really care that much about Hitler. I love him. Seems like so you just do it as a way to like a troll? No, he seems like a cool guy. You know, it's like he uh <laughs> he you know, it's like he had a really cool outfit and stuff, and he was a really good architect. And no, he uh, wasn't. So he was, no, 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 no. He was a shitty artist, he was a shitty architect. Fuck off. Oh my gosh. Oh, paradox. Paradox? I think Fuentes is going to be as successful as DeSantis. Like, seriously, like, it's just going to be the same ratchet system until it falls to falls into fascism slowly. It's not going to be a Weimark moment. It's just going to be a slow decline into into this shit. Oh, going to boil us slowly. Yeah. With the with the with the with the, arch the, the 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 look of it, and he didn't kill six million Jews. That's just like factually incorrect. That's Guys, so get the. Holocaust denial is a preventable condition. Send your kids to school, keep them away from white supremacists, and maybe you too can avoid this horrible and debilitating illness of the mind. The Ronald Reagan clip they showed me yesterday. Sorry, go ahead. Ronald Reagan said that too. Well, I think Hitler did target and kill some people. So I think, you know. I think Obama killed Palestinians. <clears throat> no, I hear you. Here, here's where I think the frustration is. And Nick, you can comment on this. And Obama was not the first black president. He was another Jewish president. Americans are tired of hearing that we're Hitler and that we did bad things when we defeated Hitler. And that's my Look, biggest beef. Let's is not say his name. Stalin defeated Hitler. Go fuck yourself. Anymore. Only say Christ's name moving forward. I agree. <laughs> like, <laughs> but I'm, I'm tired of hearing I'm a Nazi. I'm really sick. I'm not. But I think by them falsely I, accusing I, people, some people are going to become. I, I do like how he just looked straight at Nick Fuentes then. I, I am. I am. <coughs> now what? I am. You're now what? what? Now I'm a Nazi, Ari Emanuel. Isn't that what it said? Because this is the thing. So you're this doubling man, down. Uh, look, 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 Alex, I love you. Do not cut this uh, rant, rant off. I'm not. You're live. Right here. Okay. So we're in America. We get our history stolen from us, and we're all made to slaves. The Native Americans and the ones brought over on Jewish slave boats, right? And then we're so-called free, but we're never free. And we're Republican, but then we're turned to Democrats at the MLK JFK it's time, more. right? And we're told we're black, and they made songs that said, say it loud, say it loud. I'm black yeah. and I'm proud, say it loud. I'm black and I'm proud. And then crack came, and then rappers started saying, what's up, my nigga? I'm a nigga, you a nigga. Said, okay, I'm a nigga then. I'm a Wait a second, I thought nigga was bad a second ago. No, nah, nigga is fine. That's what the feds told us to call ourselves. And then even Beyonce, we never thought she'd call herself a bitch. Missy said, hey, I'm a bitch. Everyone says they're a bitch. Okay, now our black women are bitches. So we're bitches and niggas now, right? I'm a, I'm a nigga, you a bitch. I've even said this in my rap. So I wake up and I look at the I look at my phone and they say yay is an anti-semitic. So I said, okay Well, I'm an anti-semitic No, you said you're you said I'm an anti-semitic get it. You understand what I'm saying? Bring you're, you're trying to make 
the kind of point that a child would in primary school in grade school i suppose in america this is not smart kanye this is just doubling down this is just oh fine i will if you call me that fine i will uh, that's you're trying to make a statement but it's not funny when you're speaking to millions and you're denying the fucking holocaust you fucking piece of shit like no like i don't give a fuck oh you guys have called me that so that's why it's happening no like you you're still choosing to do what you're doing you can't you can't blame shit on the devil you can't blame shit on god you can't blame shit on your wife you can't blame shit on the jewish people you can't blame shit on um on on cancel culture uh you, you're choosing to you, nobody nobody told you to uh deny the holocaust or say that, that you love hitler nobody told you to do that you did that you chose to do that and whether that was some sort of fucked up statement or not you still fucking did that you're a piece of shit again the clowns there will be clowns i tell you what let's play that frank sinatra <laughs> clip for a minute let's get Owen Troyer and Ollie to have some comments, final comments here. Are you going to push that jet back or you got to get out of here? I got to get out of here. They already pushed the jet back, uh, tried to stop us from getting here in the first time. Nick, can you tell them what happened? Folks don't know, tell them about that. Yeah, we had to have the plane turn around midair because there was a uh, issue. <laughs> <laughs> here goes the issue. <laughs> there was some issue with the plane. You said that it happened before. Uh, no, that was the first time it happened with me, but... We were up in the air 20 minutes out, and then there was some kind of big alarm. We had to turn the plane around and land. And Ye said, oh, you're, he's not even going to believe me. He said, Alex isn't going to believe me because... I guess uh, it didn't happen the first time. Yeah, something else happened. to get the yeah. show together. Yeah, so, but that, that. The last time we had it, in, yeah. Yeah, so there was some seal on the door that was broken, and so we were. Well, you don't down. want to depressurize the cabin. Yeah, now we, we wanted to go down safely, not like, you know, crash into a mountain or something, so. Which I'm not afraid of. Whatever way you guys want to choose. And you know what, yay, at this point, no one else is afraid of your plane crashing with you in it either, in Minecraft. Just to, you know, take me out or whatever. I'm not afraid of anything. I'm only afraid of God. One thing I want to say to all of you guys is, no one still stepped up other than Jon Stewart to say, hey, he was upset about the practices. Wait, the wasn't Kobe a rapist? still not changed. So you could do whatever you want to do and say whatever you want about me. We don't like his mask. We don't like, everyone likes the jacket, of course. Everyone loves the, loves the jacket, right? You could say whatever you want about me. You could distract us with this Balenciaga kind of conversation. You could distract us with all of these woke ideas. It's you the, can the, choose um, your superheroes. Like, oh, yeah, 100%. Oh, we're going to choose... Uh, 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 and George the Floyd, people in the plane as well. Instead of the MLKs, we, we're going to choose uh, Gabby and Lizzo instead of the Beyonce's. You can try to create the narrative, but God runs the world. And the people are tired of that. People, all the athletes, all of... You're absolutely right. People are tired and you're halfway there. You're absolutely halfway there. But the answer to your, to your problems is not blaming everything on Jewish people. It just isn't. That's not how it works. Um, the answer to your problems is uh, actually a lot more complicated and it relies on teamwork and working together to dismantle a corrupt system that only serves to empower the rich. That's it. Um, you're not vindicated by the fact that you said shitty things and now people don't want to be associated with you. That's just normal human shit uh the, yeah the conspiracy theorists are always close to rising about capitalism but they always just assume it's jewish people well i mean like i used to be a 9-11 truther and i grew up but it took me 10 10 you know 12 years to grow up enough to realize what the actual problems were with the world and that it's, it's going to be i mean like i'm blackpilled as fuck now but like you know it's not going to stop me from talking about it and trying to do as much as I possibly can with my own two hands. I'll try.
I don't think I'm going to succeed, but I'll keep trying. You prefer, for, prefer more fun theories that didn't matter that much, like J.P. Morgan might have used the Titanic to kill rich folk. Well, I mean, like, yeah, but at the cost of how many poor people? The celebrities, what I'm saying is, I love you guys also. I understand you're all scared. I understand oh, why you Kanye, don't want to get your bank accounts frozen. I get it. I Kanye, it's okay. Um, Like, you don't have to love me. I, I fucking hate you. So, uh, yeah, you can you can hate me now. Cool. Love you. I yeah, the JFK thing, to... like, I don't think it would have mattered either way, so, yeah. <laughs> None of y'all, because y'all all scared. And you notice the more they press... Like if 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 he wasn't if if like uh, JFK wasn't uh, wasn't um, like assassinated right, then um, you know that would have just been another another in the long list of um, CIA failures. Sure, whatever the issue is, the more it causes resistance. Let's play two minutes of Frank Sinatra uh, bring in the clowns. Then a final comment from Ali Alexander. Final comment from Owen Schroer. Final comment from everybody here. And the good news is you're ten minutes from the airport, so I know your flight was at two, but you can push it back. We, uh, we, we, we've got yay. Work in the work. Escape, you let me send out, brother. Here you go. Yo, I want to sign a DEF CON one too, though. Please print me a DEF CON. Oh, right. That DEF CON was that Christ lot. No signing that one. All right. MK Ultra. Well, I mean, like, it's not so much freaky. It's just, like, the MK Ultra didn't result in mind control techniques. It resulted in the way that we torture people in war now. It, it resulted in torture techniques and, um, yeah, and shock doctrine reforms and all of that sort of thing. <laughs> um, so it's less freaky, just fucking awful and sad. Say, say what you gotta say. I have to leave soon. <laughs> Laura. Are you guys live on here again? Yes, we're live, Laura. Quit watching the internet. Oh, hey. No, look, uh, for Elon Musk, you know, I don't know if he's watching or not, but, you know, I'm calling on Elon Musk to restore the accounts of everybody who was banned. He said this week that he was going to give an amnesty to all the accounts that were banned. So I would like my account back. I think that. You should get your account back. I think that Nick Fuentes and Ali should get their accounts back. And also, you know, for the people that are texting me and calling me right now saying, oh, you're Jewish. How could you not, you know, call out Ye for his comments about Jews and Hitler today? I'm not going to tell Ye what he's allowed to think. I'm not going to tell Ye what he's allowed to say. I'm a free speech absolutist. Yeah, but, like, it's not telling him what to do. It's 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 about, like saying i don't support this i think that what he said was wrong you can that, that's not telling someone what to say he can definitely choose what to say and he will choose what to say but like you can say i don't think that he should have said that i think he's a piece of shit um all you're doing is just showing how much of a weak piss poor excuse of a human being you are at the end of the day and if you cannot understand right that this is about free speech this is about combating it's not about free speech up. it's not about free speech bitch this is about like a man who is who just denied the fucking holocaust this man just denied the fucking holocaust and mainstreamed that shit to all of his fucking fans. He's mainstreamed Alex Jones to all of his fucking fans. He's mainstreamed anti-Semitic anti rhetoric to all of his fans. I can quite easily, you can quite easily use your freedom of speech to say I don't think that he should say that shit. I don't think that she, he should be given a platform to say that shit. Freedom of speech is not being able to broadcast hate speech. Fucking hell.
Yeah, but like she, she's, she's, she's a fucking ghoul. What, what does she care about that? <laughs> Against the censors and the cancel culture movement, then I don't really want to talk to you. <laughs> and this is more than just you know somebody being Jewish, somebody being Christian. This is about the truth and fighting for free speech so uh, i just well i mean you could call out the liars then maybe that were uh the, the the lies you know everything that was lied about here maybe you don't have to like cancel culture anyone but like you could just speak out against the lies that were spoken about today like instead of saying i just believe in free freedom of speech i believe in speed of freedom of speech i believe in freedom of speech did i mention i believe in freedom of speech oh freedom of speech freedom of speech it's just it's just a thought terminating cliche you don't even know what freedom of speech is i bet she wouldn't be able to even explain it outside without like saying first amendment like actually explaining in a nuanced and like understandable way why she thinks it's okay to talk in these ways yeah freedom of speech i can't even say all the words i want to say on this uh, platform so i just want to say that you know i'm here to fight to make sure that yay has a right to say what he wants to say uh even as a jewish woman because free speech is greater than all of us this is what we're fighting for together. That's right. And we lose that, we lose everything. Okay, hit you back a little bit later. Love you. Thank you. You want that piece of paper again? Uh, now I want to photograph it and put this version of it online. Beautiful. And, and you got to leave in like 10 minutes. So I want, I want to play. Uh, I got to leave in now minutes, but it's okay. You got to leave now minutes my way. But real quick, uh, Ollie Alexander, first, I want to show you, you're going to come up in like an hour. Yeah. 3 p.m. If I want. War room. We'll have highlights of this, everything. I we'll probably wouldn't game. do it here, here unless it was like a pay-per-view. Here, but other comments. Well, I'll not give my whole plethora here. I'll save some of that time for the war room coming up in an hour so that Ali can speak too. But you know, one quick thing, all these people out there saying, oh, Ye's oh, lost yeah. his mind. Ye's lost his mind. Again, check yourselves. We have... We are mutilating children and calling them trans kids. Oh my gosh. Okay, now we've got the transphobia. We're not mutilating children. This is a this is a actual conspiracy theory, a mainstreamed conspiracy theory. It's not it's not true. Um yeah. That's all I really need to say about that. Onus is on you to prove it. At the end of the day. I don't have and to calling do it gender affirming uh, surgery. No, Ye has not lost his mind. You have. We have men claiming they can get pregnant. No, Ye has not lost his mind. You. Well, I mean, like trans men can get pregnant. So, like, what, what, what is your point here? So you said something wrong. You, you, you've said a conspiracy theory on Alex Jones's show. Shock horror, and then uh, you t you said something which is uh, like correct, and then said, "Oh, the world is crazy." Just like, no, no, it's, they're, they're called trans men. They have wombs. Like, un understand this shit. It's not. It's really easy to understand. You have. We have now open sex trafficking happening at the southern border, and the White House for. No, there isn't. I'll tell you what is at the southern border. Genocide, I think medical, medical, uh, medically um, sterilizing um, people that don't understand, uh, making people who don't understand English sign English uh, waiver forms to allow them to remove the uteruses of people who go in for surgery, um, effectively sterilizing them before allowing them into the country. Yes, this is real. Uh, that's what's happening south of the border. Um, don't know about the sex trafficking, though. Uh, I would like to see your sources on that. Forcing Border Patrol to be the final ushers in of the unaccompanied use to their pimps. No, Ye has not lost his mind. False. 
Citation needed. Mind we all have for this going on. Now, when Ye talks about wearing the White Lives Matter shirt, and, and really this is what we're doing here today too, it's culture jamming. That's what we're doing. Oh, you can wear a Black Lives Matter shirt. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised if there's that if that's there, but uh, in the way that they're talking about it, as if like there is some like scary other organization, a they them army per se, um, doesn't exist in the way that they say. Corruption exists and uh, sex trafficking exists, but it doesn't doesn't work like in the way that they're trying to claim. Hold on a second. I need to. Oh. Oh, okay. They want to charge us uh, $1,000 for uh, different uh, feeding fees. I'm interested to understand what a water reading fee is. Oh yeah, they're trying to squeeze out uh, all of the uh, bond, which uh, we'll fight in court. Fuck them. Oh yeah. So uh, they want so so basically they paid my my uh, my uh, previous landlords. We left some uh, furniture out the front for uh, the council pickup, and uh, the um, the landlord decided to pay someone to pick it up without informing us first. Um, so uh, that's yeah. That was. Uh, uh, they, they they want to charge us uh, six hundred and forty nine dollars for that. Um, so good luck with that, buddy. If you didn't want to wait, then or contact us about that. That's your fucking problem. Uh, they they they're charging a water meter a water meter reading fee apparently for seven till seventeen dollars sixty eight. Um, good luck with that, buddy. Uh, they said they deep cleaned all carpets and air fresh uh, to charge us $260. We already did that, so uh, good luck with that, buddy. Um, so they want to uh, charge us uh, $967.91. I mean, like, the final water consumption um, for $41, yeah, I'll pay that. But none of the other stuff, because fuck you. Pieces of shit. Trying to take 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 my home and my money. Love it. But you oh, can't yeah. wear a White Lives Matter shirt. We're ramming their own culture down their throat. No, you can't. You can't. You can't. Uh, well, I mean, you can. Yes, you can wear a White Lives Matter shirt. Like, there's nothing illegal about that. You can't sell a White Lives Matter shirt because um, that's copyrighted. You know, free market, baby. <laughs> 
that's how it works. Uh, so, yeah, sucks to be you, but sucks to suck, I guess. That's, that's, that's all I have to say about that. They despise the free market. Look how they stole from Disney. Oh, and we're finding out that they don't like it. Same thing with this interview today. We believe in free speech. Whether we agree with what each other are saying or not, we believe in their right to say it's it. It's an exercise of us showing we're here, we have our own platform, and the internet, number one story, hands down, in the world, right now, is this broadcast, because people want free speech. Great point. 60-second closing comment, Owen. Then Nick Fuentes, then Ali Alexander, then Yi. Well, I would say, I don't, I don't think the story here with Ye should be about anti-Semitism or Nazis or any of that. To me, the human interest story like Nazis, is... Though. They're fine. But, but yay, think about what you can do in the with video your game, platform right yeah. now, because they want to make that the issue. Most people Who's say, the I grew up, Zionist? the whole world, I'm talking about everybody watching this right now. That's fine. We want, we want yay to expose the corruption, the secrets, the societies like you've been doing. We want yay to pull the curtain back on Hollywood, pull the curtain back on Balenciaga, pull the curtain back on yeah, all of this stuff. None of it's sacrosanct. Uh, because um, uh, because he brought up because for some reason he thinks Gideon is the real um, story of three hundred, uh, which is not the case. The story of Gideon is uh, possibly one of the first mentions of the scientific method within the Bible. When you think about it, you know, like it, um, it's about uh, Gideon basically testing God three times before um, going, before trusting him and going to war, and then God um, helped uh, the battle be won uh, by using, uh, by blinding the uh, enemy uh, army. Um, and because Kanye has absolutely zero knowledge or understanding of the Bible, he hasn't, he probably hasn't even read it. Um, yeah, like he probably doesn't hasn't even read it. Um, he just believes some weird ass shit about the Bible and thinks that uh, get the story of Gideon was something to do with like three hundred, which no, no, the story. So the 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 story in the Bible was not about um uh, in people who practiced uh, institutional uh, pedophilia, um like losing a fight once. That's not the story of Gideon. Um, Kanye, you're a fucking idiot. And even someone like me with a, mo with a basic understanding of the Bible and the stories in it. Like, I grew up in the church. Like, don't try and tell me stories about the Bible which aren't fucking real. I have, I have enough of that from, like, the, the fucking apostate, um, uh, young earth creationists. I call them apostate now because I believe that they are blaspheming against my God. My God's better than theirs anyway. It can beat them up in a fight. Prove me wrong. Everybody should be evilly criticized. I'll cover the rest of my comments later today on the war room. I got a lot. Everyone should be openly criticized. Well, then you're not for freedom of speech because to do that, you need to be able to uh, police speech that um, takes away the freedom of speech of others, destroying the act of freedom of speech in the process. Freedom of speech is a oxymoron because to have freedom of speech you need to be able to take the freedom of others to speak out against that speech christian god is non-binary yes the they them god i like that but it, but if you talk to people like um people who believe in david ike's conspiracy theories the christian god is the devil anyway so I want to make sure Ollie gets a final comment here before Ye leaves. Here's one more question the crew had. What about your personal training saying, your personal trainer saying, we'll put you in a, who turned out he was in secret government operations and mind control in Canada, admitted it. Him saying, Apparently he was like for really fucking weird. Like a really, really weird ass fucking dude. Oh, yeah. I'll put you in a mental institution for life if you don't shut up. I mean, I get why you're pissed. You're not going to be dominated. Exactly. You know, I've, I've expressed myself and 
I've expressed myself calmly and no one's scared anymore. You guys have beat me to a pulp, but I'm still alive. And now I'm not afraid. Dude, stop talking about losing money as if that's a fucking beating. Holy shit. Like, even Andrew Tate knows what a fucking beating is. Fuck off. You can't threaten me. You could call me crazy. You could take the money. You're right, I can't threaten you. Because I don't have the freedom to do that on this platform. And I disavow threats of violence against anyone. I disavow. Take all the it makes it okay, because I disavow. And don't take the supermodels. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just making jokes. I'm just a comedian. Don't take the supermodels! <laughs> hey, sometimes a waitress is better than a supermodel. <laughs> so, but Jesus is king, and I love everyone. This is love speech, Ari. This is love speech in Jesus' name. Yeah, 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 yeah. The real yeah. king um, of the Dude, my dude, my dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop you right there. I'm gonna stop you right there. I'll let you speak, but... Holocaust denial is not expressing the love of God. Go fuck yourself. Seriously. With a, with a Minecraft cactus in Minecraft. Israel. Jesus Christ. This is love speech. I love Jewish people. Maybe. I love supermodels. I... <laughs> Wait a second. Let's see what Netan loves. You love Nick Fuentes. I'm, Maybe Hitler. I'm, ne I'm Netan Yahoo. I ain't never had a supermodel. Yeah, could tell. Uh, <laughs> all right, well, you're going to leave here in a few minutes, and you're going to think, gosh, I wish I would have said that. So what do you wish you would have said? I think I said a lot. I think I said a lot, you know? I think, I I think that you're going to wish you didn't say some, a lot of these things when you end up in the depressive state. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he will. Sorry, I just need to do this fucking bullshit. Health can be crazy. Oh, it could be. What's this? Best Viet Cong? Oh, man, that's awesome. Holy fuck, he actually got into it. <sighs> All right. <laughs> did you retweet out a little sign picture? Yes, I did, sir. 
All right, InfoWars.com, tomorrow's news today. Uh, whoever's staying behind is going to be here and be on air. We're going to unpack all this, obviously, and cover it and you know get into every issue. But, yeah, do you think humanity survives? What do you make of the mark of the beast, the forced COVID inoculations? I mean, this this is a wave in the right direction. Why did you think you were able to do three hours here? You just did three hours, three minutes, by the way. Uh, or, no, 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 you had done three hours, three minutes. Why were you able to stay here but not with Tim Pool? Because Tim Pool got the call from those boys 10 minutes before I got there and said, flag this and flag that. Also, Tim Pool is the NPC, you know, and you're a real, a real human being. So no one's ever heard of uh, Tim Pool. You know, you're the legend that is Alex Jones, and you were fighting on the front line, and now we're here with you. You got some other superheroes part of the Avenger movie fighting for Christ and free speech. And I called it. I said, what is this, a superhero thing with the mask? He said, yeah, but don't say it. They'll figure it out. But I was saying, yeah, I'm Lex Luthor. Oh, okay. I was completely wrong. He went for a superhero theme. Apparently, a black, black balaclava is, is a superhero thing. Okay. Well, it uh, turns out the mask thing was dumber than even I could fucking figure out. Holy moly. What What is the new yay superhero we're talking talking about it's it's someone in service to jesus christ not into his own ego and that i have my rights you know i had I, I had the right to wear a mask for the entire i had the right to wear a super 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 fresh jacket you know i had the right to tell god please don't take away the super models i just want to marry one you know i can well i can say this because I've always, I've never seen you in concert. My daughter has big fan. I, I'm a fan of a lot of your music, but I've never seen you in person. You don't look little fuck? on screen. This is like he's gone like complete, like pathetic. He's he's become like completely pathetic. His ability to speak off the cuff is uh, about anything he doesn't really like have an answer for already. Is absolutely pathetic. What the fuck? But you don't look like a really big guy. But in person, I'm a stocky guy. I'm kind of small compared to you. You're built like a brick, you know what house, and you're you're tall, you're pretty tall too. So I don't think people that've been around uh, Yay in person, uh, you know, know just uh, it, it's it's I interesting. Don't even know who that you're is. a handsome guy in person. I wish you weren't wearing that damn mask. That's the vision. But you won't give us what we want. You won't show us your face <laughs> again. Absolutely not. That kind of kills it, huh? Seriously, did they come up with that after or before this interview? Because that's fucking hilarious. If that's fucking, that's just fucking hilarious. Holy shit. People, it was a yay impersonator. He was never here. <laughs> <laughs> we never know. Dave Chappelle, I guess we'll never hey, know. Hey, last thing on Dave Chappelle. <laughs> I watched his Saturday Night Live where he grovels, and but at the end he says, well, whoever that group is, we're not allowed to talk about it. Good night. So he admitted, though, there's powerful groups controlling our speech, at least the end. Everybody has to do it in their own. It was a shitty joke. And I don't, I don't think it was fucking funny in the first place because people don't fucking get the joke anyway. And even making an anti-Semitic joke is still being anti-Semitic. No matter how ironic it is, if you say something shitty, it's you still said something shitty. You fucking idiot. Oh, fucking hell, Dave Chappelle's oh, a piece wait, of but shit. He said, they "They dropped that like nigga." Fucking. And as my friend, I've never dropped a rap bar ever saying anything on a Jewish platform dissing my friend Dave Chappelle. And I have an issue with it. And you could tell Big Country I got an issue. That's his security. You could tell all of you could tell Corey Smith, he don't deserve to wear gold teeth. What do you, well, Dave early was like, you. Nick, to you. What do you have to say about Corey Smith's gold teeth? But real quick, 10 years ago. <laughs> He was like, there's a mafia. They came to me and said, what I got to do? He ran off to Africa. Now he's kind of come back. Did he sell out? He didn't sell out. He, yeah, he sold out a little bit because um, because he, he denounced the king. You know what I'm saying? He, he denounced me. I'm the one fighting on the front line. And no black person is to say nothing bad about fighting me. Fighting on, on what front line and for who? All you're doing is, being, is shitting on a minority group. Fuck off. Fuck off. Divorce dad. Fuck off and public unless they a puppet period i put my life on the line and then afterwards they're gonna oh, talk about it if anything happens to me everyone's gonna be, oh he was the greatest he was the greatest everybody shut up everybody shut up go home to your scared little bins and your so so because dave Chappelle um sniped him he's gonna immediately go on an anti-dave Chappelle rant
The divorce dad bullshit is real, I swear. Holy moly. Just completely and utterly real. Scared little town home and your scared little movie contracts. And shut up. Don't talk to me about nothing, bro. Well, what do you think of Ice Cube? That he, he lost nine or seven million, whatever it was, because he wouldn't take the shot. I respect that. Yeah, I respect Cube, but he's got to play his position. It's like, you know, it's fine. I wanted Cube to come in and help us with the politics because he's one of the only people that was brave enough to talk. He's definitely for real. Yeah, he, yeah he's, he's an engineer. He's an architect and engineer by trade. And then he dropped out to do entertainment. Guys, hey, everybody, stop. All engineers, we need our engineers back. We need our architects back. We need our doctors back. Stop with the photos on Instagram. Stop with all the entertainment. 21 Savage owns a bank. We have brilliant people that are inside of- By the way, I want to project. say the future, yeah. we're very yeah. close with some folks to actually having a bank. It's funny you bring that up, a bank and internet processing for patriots. That's the future, is not trying to fix Twitter or fix any of it, building our own system. I mean, the future is the past also, because as soon as you got the, the internet, all these things, the data can be copied by China, by these banks. Yeah, you don't really own your data. So, uh, this is the last question. Yeah. I, I know Louis Farrakhan. I've interviewed him. I agree with like 95% of what he says. Some things I don't agree with. But the point is, I think he's, he cares about people. He's a real guy, and he's nothing compared to the left saying all whites are devils and criminals. So they're way more racist than he is. But I get you know, what he's been saying. You kind of got mad at him and said, hey, don't disrespect me with my billions they just stole because he said, hey, maybe it was never yours. I think his point is what you just made. If they can grab it out of your account, it's never yours unless it's your farm, your people, your kids, your thing. It's not yours. I don't think he was dissing your success. I think he was saying, was it ever yours to begin with? They can take it. Our life is not ours. It's God's. So now you get what he was saying. I talked to I talked to the minister. So oh, good. So you're not mad at him now. I'm not mad at anyone. I'm not mad at Ari well, Emanuel. Uh, if, it's not, if it's not off record, tell us about the conversation. On the record, Ari Emanuel, if you need me and your wife to step into a private room and have me work on her clothing line, I'm here. <laughs> but seriously, so you were a little mad at Farrakhan. You had a talk. How so dressed like that, you're going to uh, talk about how, like, giving your advice on their clothing lines. Okay. Okay. How'd that go? It's gonna be all Christian, Ari. Rom, Rom, Rom. Don't, don't, don't worry. It's gonna be all Christian, Rom. You are something else. Look, you look really friendly and nice, but with that mask, you look evil as hell. Let me just say this oh, in yeah. closing. And you see how he was like talking about supermodels and shit. It's just like fucking ew, ew. Like complete, like everything about a divorced dad. I've done a lot of study. I think Hitler was a really bad guy, and I repudiate what Hitler did. I understand that the British intelligence set him up and used I, him. I love how many times like Alex Jones is forced to have to say that this entire like interview. Like he he has to say that constantly because yeah, he keeps on bringing it up. I, I like Hitler. I, I don't like <laughs> Hitler. And I know you're trying to be shocking with that. I'm not trying to be shocking. I like Hitler. I do not. I the the Holocaust is not what happened. Let's look at the facts of that. And Hitler Talk. has a lot of. Fucking hell. Twice. Twice. Redeeming qualities. So tell us, you love, think we you think everyone. Hitler was the good guy in World War II? I think God says man should not kill. We should not have wars, period. None of us should be killing anybody. The Ukraine and the streets of Chicago, all violence should stop and we should all serve Christ. That's what I feel. And I feel like I love everyone accordingly from all the way from the Balenciagas to the Hitlers. To well, let me tell you a story. To, hold, hold on, sir. Okay. To Ari Emanuel, to Jamie Dimon, to the people who... What's that? Got an Amber Alert. Here's what I'm saying. Wow. My grandfather would never tell World War II stories. And after he died, we read over his stuff, and he never even told my dad all the stuff he did and everything. But it was all in their letters and commendations. He I, told me, he, he said, kid... I was like eight years I old. I Amber Alerts is when my ex-girlfriend Amber was doing something in the streets. I got Amber Before Alert. he died, I was like five years old. The point was, and I was like, tell me a World War II story. Tell me a World War II story. And he said, okay, well, we came in out of Africa. We came into Italy. He was there three years. He said, by the time they got to Germany, they went into this death camp, and there were piles of dead bodies 100 feet tall with blackbirds eating people's eyeballs out. All I'm telling you is, is that... Just because you hate the globalists and what they're doing, and I get it. Klaus Schwab's I grandfather I don't hate, I don't hate was anybody. a Nazi. Okay, I there's Nazis above the ADL. Yeah, but Nazis are like... Wait, so, you, so wait, Alex Jones is saying that the not, that Nazis are running the fucking ADL. Are you fucking kidding me? Because you like your uniforms. No, I just... These are people. 
Everyone's a vegan. I love all people. So you love the Zionists? I love this. I said that earlier in the show. All right. Do you have any comments on Hitler? Uh, uh, I, I have to did, agree who with Who did Ye say he hated? Ye didn't say he hated anybody. Why isn't anybody listening to him? He said, I love this person. I love the people who are trying to take away my children. I love this person. He never yeah, said But I don't think anybody. we, listen, I'm just getting it totally clear. But I think Alex, Stalin. You the same thing. You did the same thing. On Stalin is horrible. Hitler is horrible. Mao is horrible. No, no. I love all of those. You love Mao Zedong. Absolutely. Mao brought. Well, clear, clarify that. You're saying you're like Christ like. You love everybody. Yeah. No matter. You love Jim Jones. Like you, love, you love Jeffrey Dahmer. Absolutely. Everyone. Okay, well, let's clarify. I, I get to... But he didn't need clarification because he said, I'm starting with the Bible. He's ending with the Bible. And, and that's what. But they did it to you, Alex, because you had a. What he's doing is he's saying that he doesn't have to write, take any responsibility for for reporting hate speech against minorities because he loves them, and it's God who's actually going to punish them, not his actions. Like you know, like oh God, God is the one that's stabbing you in the fucking face with a with a knife right now. It's God. It's not me doing that. It's actually God. I love you. I I really love you. While 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 God is making my hand stab you because of the decisions you've made has nothing to do with the things I choose to do in life. That's disgusting. That's just disgusting. Stop. Get some help. The guy who came here, and you're like, I'll be Satan, I'll be the evil guy, I did Sandy Hook. Remember, you did the same thing that he's doing right now. All right. Absolutely. Yay, we appreciate you. Anything else you want to add? Jesus is king. Start with the Bible. I thought, wait, no, I thought that you were the king, dude. I thought you called yourself the king. And, and wait, doesn't that mean that you can't drink? Wait, you're not making any sense, Kanye. Yay. Uh. Love your children, love your family. Think about the things that you're doing before you throw stones. Stop the trauma. Stop the generational abuse. The sexual abuse. Okay, what's the next, Yay, in, 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 in Yay world? What are you going to do next? Sir, I was still in the middle of it. Love I'm sorry, you. go ahead. Love you. Stop, stop the abuse. Generation, they say, they, they say abuse goes He's going to walk out if you keep doing that. Stop the trafficking. Just saying. Instagram is sex trafficking. The, it, the, the language, I, I'm going to screw your wife. I'm going to have a, all that is trafficking. Stop it. Stop, stop the drug usage. Stop, stop the killing. We put the guns down ourselves. We rise up and we show God mate, how strong. Mate, how are you going to do that? You're saying do this, do that, and you're not coming up with absolutely any amount of solution to any of this. You're just saying, oh, just stop it. Just, just stop it. Just, just stop it. Stop. Stop. Just stop it. Fuck off, like. But then they'll turn around and say, "Oh, you know, we're just putting our trust in God." And she's like, "Well, I mean, like, fucking hell. Can you like show us some of that, that 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 trust that you're talking about?" I don't know. It just seems pretty cringe to me. But I don't know. What do, what are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do? Oh, we are. It's, it's our disobedience to, to God that got us enslaved. God is on our side, but we have to be on God's side. We have to listen to our father. We have to listen to God and follow him and he will protect us. Look. No, but I agree with that. Before we can cast stones, you're saying you love everybody. You don't judge them. It's God to judge. I agree with that statement. And we got to change ourselves and stop pointing our fingers at somebody else. Exactly. And, All right. And it's to say, hey, I'm going to show you how much. Jewish media can't tell me what to say. You like that, Ari? And I'm telling you, we can get a nice private room. Me and your wife can go in and work on the clothing line. I'm really good at it, and it'll be super Christian. Hey, Rom, it's okay. You got a thing for his wife? Absolutely not. I would not look at his wife for a second, but I do believe that the clothing line could use some creative improvement. All right. Infowars.com tomorrow's news today. Nick Fuentes. Yay. I, I don't want to end this if you got more to say, but you gotta you gotta catch a flight. Gotta catch a flight. All right, hey, yay. I appreciate you coming and I appreciate the First Amendment. And look, he's not taking the mask off. Yay was not here. Incredible impersonator. Wilbert Johnson was the impersonator. Wilbert. Net Net Netton was here though. Actually, Benjamin Netanyahu played Kanye West today. Hey Netton, what you at? Hey, yay. Guys, here are the Justin Trudeau thing and some clips. We're gonna come right back and 
Talk to Owen and the rest I'm, of the crew. Owen, get in last, here. Do the last hour with Net and Yahoo. All right. This has been incredible. Uh, folks, free shipping. Infowarsstore.com is back. We need funding to stay on air. I'm going to get Yay out of here. And I'll be back. Infowars.com. Share it everywhere. It's forbidden. And I love everybody. First member of Sacrament saying, you just saw it. It's good to have these debates. It's good to have these open discussions. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Amazing. Just amazing. Was that, was that the end of it? That was it. I think. I think that was it. Hold on. Yep, that was it. That was the whole fucking thing. My gosh. That was fucking crazy. Let's just recap that for a minute. Let's recap that for a minute, okay? <sighs> Let's have ourselves a nice little happen, recap, shall we? Nice little recap of all the lovely, lovely things that Kanye decided to uh, lie about on uh, Alex Jones' show. Amazing. I've done a lot of study. I think Hitler was a really bad guy, and I repudiate what Hitler did. I understand that the British intelligence set him up and used I, him. I, I like Hitler. I, I don't like Hitler. And I know you're trying to be shocking with that. I'm not trying to be shocking. I like Hitler. I do not. I The, the Holocaust is not what happened. Let's look at the facts of that. And Hitler has a lot of redeeming qualities. This is the voice of Netanyahu. Well, CNN says why people are evil Nazis, so... I mean, I, I, I disagree with both statements, but I get the yeah, Trojan. I don't, I don't like the word evil next to Nazis. So I think we need to <laughs> I'll never that. not love that. That fucking reaction from fucking Alex Jones. I'm sorry. I have to watch that again. I love See, that so, reaction. I mean, I, I, I disagree with both statements, but I get the yeah, Trojan. I don't, I don't like the word evil next to Nazis. I think we need. Just, just, just the look of absolute frustration. <laughs> look at. <laughs> um, and, and the Nazis, in my view, were thugs. It should. You know that laugh there? Listen to that laugh. Um, and, and the Nazis in statements, but I get the yeah, Trojan. I don't, I don't like the Alex word Jones evil laugh here. Nazis. I think we need to look at. <laughs> you know what that is? That, that, that's how women laugh when men, stranger, strange men come up to them and compliment them. That, that, that's, that's the uncomfortable laughter of I can't speak out against this person because it's going to lead to me, them possibly getting violent towards me. <laughs> um, and, and the Nazis, in my view, were thugs that shook people down did a lot of really bad things. But they did good things too. We're going to stop dissing the Nazis all the time. Okay. I'm, ne <laughs> I'm net and Yahoo. I ain't never had a supermodel. Yeah, could tell. Uh, <laughs> The Jewish media has made us feel like the Nazis and Hitler have never offered anything of value to the world. Okay, well, why would the Zionists be killing Jews in mass in Israel with the poison shot? Because they work for Satan. They don't work for God. Exactly. And uh, you've got a little bit of the Hitler fetish going on. It's not a fetish. It's not a fetish. That's a term like... I I just love information. Can we just kind of say like you like the you like the uniforms, but that's about no, it. No, we we no. I, there, there's a lot of things that I love about Hitler. A lot of things. Hey, uh, Netan, what did you think about that, Netan? This is insane. You are an insane person. Love but that's a good T-shirt. I love Hitler. That's a bar. That's a bar. I'm joking. What? Germans had a really cool leader at one time. Oh my God. This, uh, look. <laughs> and he didn't kill 6 million Jews. That's just like factually incorrect. But for the oh, ADL, I want to say there's a lot of good Nazis that were just fighting for their country. And for them all. Like George Soros. Uh, for them all to get put in a box. They're all in a box. <laughs> Every Nazi's bad. Well, could some of the Nazis have just been fighting for their country? Oh, they're all. Oh, we can't, we can't put them all in a box. Benjamin Netanyahu played Kanye West today. Hey, Nathan, what you want? Hey, yay. I don't but I'm, I'm tired of hearing I'm a Nazi. I'm really sick. I'm this is just amazing. When it's all put together, it's just like that's that that was the two hours basically in a nutshell. It was was just Kanye it was just yay.
being an anti-Semite the entire time and thinking it's hilarious. The most fucking divorced dad childish shit ever, thirsting on supermodels randomly when it's inappropriate. Like, holy fuck. This this man needs help. He ne he needs help. Please give this man some help. Hooey! Just yeah, I don't know what else I can say about that that I haven't said already. It's really fucked up to deny the Holocaust happened. That was like one of the biggest examples of an actual fucking intentional genocide. Mm -hmm. It's just ghoulish to act as if that was some sort of something fake. I don't know, just not fucking good. But yes, just going to put this into my quick, quick slot. Quick slot there, quick slot there. Aha! Ha 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 ha. Hmm. Yes, there we go. Good. Right, put the tube away. And we're going to have a button to do that. But yeah, I'm going to take a quick break. So don't go anywhere or do. Either way, though, I will be back after this short break. I'm back. Sorry if I seem a little bit off. I've got like a massive headache and I don't know where it came from. I'm not entirely sure, but it really, really hurts. I'll be fine though. Has no loom, hides a plenty, weaves one basket, only the one basket. And I saw this. What are you, what are you sending me? Vashishdash. Families of trans kids are seeking sanctuary. Yeah, yeah, shit's gone bad. Hold on. Before that one, let's 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 have a look at this. Elon. Let me change my um uh title and stuff. Oh, hold on. I need a universal leap speak translator for this one. Oh, this one? Oh yeah, there it is. There we go, let's start. Sir, with all due respect, teleporting to Mars, even with the new Tesla pods, doesn't seem like something we'll be able to do in our lifetime. Uh, we must. Uh, the people, they are turning against me. Uh, I must regain their trust. Sir, we are beginning to question your judgment. Please reconsider your decision, and I- I have to do this! I have to do this. I made a promise to an old, old friend. Seriously, animation online has gotten so much better. Over I thought time. vacations were supposed to be fun. <laughs> You've been to this island many times before, but 
you still seem to get lost. Uh, I'm not lost. I'm just thinking. <laughs> you know, you fixate so much on the future and innovation that you never see the beauty that's right in front of you. I, Who is that supposed to be? I just want to change the world. Change it for the better. Leave humanity with something greater. Elon, listen! You are destined for great things. You've already done so much for the world. So, so much. Is that Jeffrey Epstein? You're strong, smart, and compassionate. Well, my name isn't Jeffrey Epstein. Oh, fucking hell. I will change the world, Jeffrey. No. Come on. I promise you. <laughs> no. I know. <laughs> but hours of contemplation has left you tense, Elon. Come on. Let's chill out no. with a couple massages. No. What do you say? No. No. Some say innovation is something that happens once in a generation. Why can't we shoot for the stars and then pass those stars to unknown worlds or smell new air on different planets, enjoy a new sunset on different planes? I will get in this pod and defy what everyone thinks I am capable of. What we are capable of. Let the naysayers yell and scream at me. I will push humanity farther. I will take us to where no other man has taken us before. Just you watch me! Oh my god, Jesus Christ! Oh. Elon the bird! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Yeah, the best thing about this is there's no doubt in my mind you will eventually see this. Oh no. You've been on this island so many times before, but you still seem to get lost. Oh, fucking nope. I also, yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, fucking what the fuck. Dude, that's fucked up. All right. We had fun with that. We had fun with that. Holy fuck. Oh. Alright. Let's learn. Gosh. I saw it coming up in my recommendeds, um, uh, like last week, and then I started seeing all the uh, major streamers like putting up videos of reactions. So I'm like, oh, I might as well have a look at it, you know? Like I thought it would be like that Andrew Tate one, which was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> but that one, this one made cohesive sense. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Tell me when you guys are ready. Ready. One, two, okay. three. Hello. All right, how are we doing? Are we lighting up? Oh, wait, 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 back a little, back a little. No, 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 no. Sit back in No, she hasn't even gone in far enough. <laughs> oh, my yeah. gosh. We went through everything, and I told the kids to keep what they thought wasn't replaceable or that they would need in the next two weeks. You can replace your bath towels, but you can't replace your kids. We are going to go right past Dollywood. I wish we had time to go, but we don't, so. We did not have a plan until last night. There's only three states that are safe for trans kids and their families in the United States. Three. I know people think that there are more because there's liberal states, but we need one of the states that actually has policies, laws in place saying that they won't extradite parents of trans kids. Um, when states like Texas uh, come after us even after we've moved. Families with transgender children are dealing with a lot. They face constant attacks by right-wing misinformation, an unending stream of anti-trans bills, and even death threats. Did you get all this out here, Caleb? Thank you. And now, some are having to make a life-changing decision. 
Should they stay where they are, where their work, family, school, and life is, and risk their child's health and safety? Or should they flee? We spent time with three families in Texas and Arizona, two states with some of the harshest anti-trans legislation, as they weigh this heartbreaking decision. I started noticing the gender dysphoria when Maya was really able to play with toys. It was really from the time she could talk. She was like saying things like, I'm a girl, or when I grow up, I'll be a princess and I'll have long hair like Rapunzel. We used to say like, you're a boy, but you can like girl things, that's okay. She was just always telling us who she was. How did you learn to make friendship bracelets? So I first learned when I was six and I went to day camp and my counselor taught me. How'd you choose these colors? It's just the trans colors, so I was like, okay. Let's do that. How am I doing here? This is looking doing really good, actually. What's like making you happy these days? I don't know. I have a few friends and they're nice and I don't know, I like swim. It kind of helps me. I'm sad, I just go to swim and I feel better. Coming to understand that our child was transgender was not something that happened overnight. This was years of therapy and it was a very long process. She was like a very anxious, depressed, weepy child. She would lick her lips till they were raw. She used to bite her nails till they bled. And then once she was able to transition. It was like the light switch got turned on inside of her. Instantly, it was. It was like the first time we saw real joy in our child. How did it feel once you were able to socially transition? I felt good because I wasn't like trapped in that feeling of, okay, I'm never going to be able to show my true self. And like, my life is horrible. Like, it's not going to be like that anymore. I could be happy. Yeah. When Daniel was really small, he would say that he wanted to be Astro Boy or Aladdin. Like the he would deepen his voice. He would deepen his voice. The characters he identified with were all male. When he went to kindergarten, that was really difficult because school became very gendered for him. He would come home and cry and uh, say he was afraid to die. And we were like, why would that happen? If I thought I was like progressive and hip, I was like, girls can do anything. And he was like, but what if I don't want to be a girl? And I just didn't get it, right? I wasn't listening. It was like it was over here. When I was younger, I used to make big masculine people. I would leave them around the house. And at some point, my mom was like, Daniel, why did you do that? Like, uh, well, I made these pre-transition. Once I came out to my parents, they were like, why did you make all those things? I was like, well, it's like a little like hint. Because I felt like this was like the easiest way to express myself with no like language. Very early on, I knew that there was a distance between my child and I. This is the sort of stuff that needs to be more of in the media, seriously. And um, it wasn't until Daniel was affirmed that I felt that wall come down. And that I felt like I get to meet you. What do you want people to know about you, about the trans I definitely feel like I like tell people a lot more about who I am now that I've, that, that, that I'm me. Like beforehand, I never really wanted to talk about myself. I didn't want to talk about other things. Like I didn't really care what went on in my life. I didn't really do things for myself, I just get lost in worlds outside of myself, like video games and stuff like that. I still do that to a degree, but like in ways which hope that that in in the most uh, like I guess positive ways possible. But yeah, it's a big thing community that you feel like people in this state you know sometimes just don't get that we're just like we're like we're just kids we're often reduced to just body parts we have so many other parts of ourselves and a lot of representatives don't don't get that and how does that feel when you see the debate like going in that direction i mean i just get naturally just get grossed out yeah totally because i feel like these are we're just all human beings and these are other human beings debating on whether or not mine in existence should be normalized or cared for. Daniel's home state of Arizona already bans trans kids from playing sports and getting gender affirming surgery. State representatives have also tried to outlaw all gender affirming care, which doctors say can be life saving for trans youth. Those anti-trans representatives saying that they want to outlaw gender affirming care for youth. Like what goes through your mind? I get really freaked out. They want to like arrest parents or like pediatricians or, th- or like people that are helping. 
And I just think like, okay, well, I don't want my parents to get arrested at all. And especially because I'm like the kind of person where like, if my mom doesn't answer the call, I'm like, okay, what do I tell the police that she's missing? You know? But like, this is, it's not like I get like really stressed out, uh, but I just like, hmm, well then. But it's clearly you know. on your mind. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of this sort of stuff scares kids. Like, it distresses kids. I've, I've seen just how being in these environments can make everyone feel scared for their future. It, it, it's scary for kids because they're seeing like people call out for their parents to get arrested for showing them love and affection. That's fucked up. Everything sort of hinges on this election for us. It's going to determine whether we are able to stay in Texas and really the trajectory and of like, our lives. And, and, and it's just like, oh, if you don't like them, leave. Like, fuck off. Like, you want people to f fucking just uproot their lives and start again somewhere else? That's fucked. I'm lucky that I have a job which I can take anywhere in Perth. If I if I was in a if I was working north of the river right now like I would have to travel an hour and a half to get to work if I was if I was working in that area, that's fucked. And we're talking about moving states. That's literally changing like uprooting your life. It's not as easy as that. Holy shit! I was moving forward. I hope that we get better. I think you'll protect us more. I don't think people understand just how hard it is. To fucking move house, even. Let alone move to a different state. How privileged must you be if that isn't a terrifying and stressful prospect for you? Moving away from your loved ones, from your friends, your support networks, everything that you've built. Like, a home is not just a, point, a place that you fall asleep, a home is a place surrounded by your environment and the people around you. I hate it. He, he will protect us because New York doesn't protect us at all. Out the out the in February, things changed drastically in Texas when Governor Greg Abbott directed the state's Child Protective Services Agency to investigate families who support their children's gender affirming care for, quote, child abuse. Texas law requires every adult to report these families from doctors to neighbors or risk criminal penalties. It's ridiculous. I live in America and I'm having to make an escape plan. I'm having to ask people if I can send my kid to go live with people, to put her somewhere safe until I can get there and get my life squared away just in case I have to. I mean, is the DoorDash person gonna recognize her name? Are they an all right extremist? You know, is my neighbor who's very pleasant to talk to gonna decide that it's their job to mandatorily report? Because Texas, every Texas citizen is a mandatory reporter here. It, it's pretty scary. What if they arrested mom? What if they took me somewhere? What if Isn't this like exactly what free speech warriors are scared of as well? The government like, you know, getting into your kids uh, bedrooms and, you know, forcing parents to act in certain ways. This is exactly what they're fucking like hiding behind. It's the same as uh, religious religious freedoms. They just want the freedom to control your freedoms. That's all it is. That That's what it fucking is. <sighs> they forced me to be somebody who I wasn't. Mm -hmm. I always have these thoughts moving through my head. Like, what if this happens? Should I do this? Should I jump out the window? When that came out, and I got the call from Lisa about CPS. I was in my office and I started crying. As I closed the door. You know, it, it, it scared me. It scared me because I wasn't sure if we were going to lose Maya. I wasn't sure if something's going to happen, you know, with us. I went straight down to the thinking. That was... Yeah, hands off our kids, and hands on to every other, other every other fucking kid, parent that parents' kids, the parents that actually care about their fucking kids. The worst. Maya was real scared. Right away, there was a lot of questions of, are they going to take me away from you? What's going to happen? And that's and that's when that anxiety you see it in her. Um, just come back. We started licking her lips, started biting her nails. It it was all over again. We hadn't seen that in seven years. How do you feel like you're currently being affected by the the state of Texas? 
well, they really don't care if I kill myself, and like they don't care if I no, but they don't, they don't care if I can't play sports. They don't care if my parents get arrested for uh, supporting me. Like I feel really sad about it. Like it's just mentally draining. Yeah, yeah. The decision that our family faces right now. Um, is one that no family should have to consider. We shouldn't have to feel that we're being pushed out of the state we live in. We are now at a point where if things don't change, we will probably have to leave this state. Florida, Texas, and Arizona mirror and mimic each other. So watching what was happening in Texas was terrifying. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my God. We have all of our family and friends here. We now. have a beautiful community that we are a part of. Daniel would lose more than he would gain if we left this state. Because my grandparents are Holocaust survivors, because my grandfather fought in the resistance, my grandmother survived Auschwitz. That language of calling on everyday citizens and mandated reporters to report families with trans youth to the authorities felt eerily reminiscent. Of it's not eerily or reminiscent, it's identical. Of that directive from the Nazis to report Jewish families to the authorities. This you don't even have to say Jewish families. You can say, like, gay, lesbian, um, gay, lesbian, bisexual, trans, queer, asexual, slash, um, agender, uh, and, uh, intersex people, like, and, and the rest, like, Nazis were required reporting on that as well, not just Jewish people. Fuck. We need to teach pe teach people more about this shit. This is this is white Christian nationalism. This is fascism. Yeah. My parents were were both uh, ranchers in Mexico, and uh, during the '60s, and so I came here when I was nine years old. Uh, there was always talks about if you get in trouble, uh, immigration can come and, and take you, and not only that, uh, it's going to create all kinds of other problems for the family. So so the, the there was this this stress that not only would I hurt myself, but I would, I would hurt the entire family. You're asking par parents to take to choose between dead. Hmm. Bloody, bloody hell. Is all I have to say about that? Bloody hell. Give me a sec, sorry guys. Whoop. Power, power on. Let's connect. Connect. There we go, now we're back. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's very scary. <laughs> it's terrifying. People don't realize it until they see it. And that's the worst part. They understood what bias in the world feels like we know what it's like to navigate, to code switch. But it's not normal for us as Americans to be saying that we need to seek refuge and sanctuary in other states. This is tough. It's just thinking about what we're going to have to do, thinking about leaving everybody leaving our home, friends, family, start a whole new life. It just feels overwhelming. Yeah. It makes me sad because I've already built built friendships and I have family here and I sometimes I'll just have dreams like like my parents were being taken away from me because I was trans. And then I had to go to a foster care and I had to move all the way to Illinois. If someone tried to take you away from me, I would not let that happen. I will do anything to keep you safe and with us and happy. I think the thing that I am most worried about is, will I wait too long? Pick up a bow and arrow in Minecraft. Learn how to will use I not it. No. And make sure that it's held by someone responsible. When it's time to cut my losses and just flee. For the Shapleys, that decision came in July. Do the thing. <laughs> yeah. Seeing 
anti-trans threats building over the summer, Kimberly started packing before she'd even found a place to live. OMG, guys, look, it's the Eiffel Tower. We're so scary. We just passed Arkansas and we're in Tennessee now. We're in Kentucky. We're almost in Ohio. She drove two and a half days straight to Connecticut, hitting just a few truck stops for gas, snacks, and naps. We're back in the car, four hours, 29 minutes away from where we're heading. The night before we left Texas, that was the first time I ever really saw Kai just sobbing. It was just something triggered her. She started thinking about our chickens and what we were leaving. I promise them. I promise them they would have a good home with me. The truth is, it would be devastating, financially devastating for us to move. It's not just the loss in income, it's cost of living because the states with which have broad protections in place and where we would be safe are, you know, more expensive. There are currently only three states that protect families of trans kids from extradition. Connecticut, Massachusetts, and California. Just last month, DC also passed protections. These are parts of the country, though, where the cost of living is up to 40% higher than the national average. And that's on top of the cost of starting over. We're starting from scratch. Beds, pillows, covers, sheets, towels, blankets, measuring cups, coffee. We should not leave here without having a way to make coffee in the morning. When I saw the relief from her when we got out and the relief from Caleb, a gigantic 100,000 pound weight lifted off my back. Like they have been through so much. The GOP has done so much damage to my family, mental, emotional damage. We're in a new place. It's not gonna be a long season, but it's gonna be a season of rest and renewal for us. I've been sleeping with my mom because I've been so terrified. I hope that I can sleep in my own bed calmly and peacefully. I've been having all these nightmares and I'm hoping that maybe since we're in a new place, I can start fresh. I can want Things to change in Texas, but you're gonna tell me that's not a fucking go. <sighs> fucking. You'll realize when it's no longer safe for us to work behind enemy lines. We need to get some things right, or I don't see any place in the U.S. being the safe haven that people think they're gonna have in their blue bubbles. Are you seriously considering going to Canada? Yes, I've already spoken to an immigration attorney and trying to um, get things together in the event that we have to to leave. Which is very close. It's. It's very close, you can feel it. I think people need to wake up and help the LGBTQ community. It's almost too late. We have some big news in the race for governor. Governor Greg Abbott with 55% support. He has been declared the winner. Oh, sweet. Lots of texts and messages. Good morning, buddy. I hope you're doing okay this morning. Yeah, And thinking about exactly. you. No matter what happens, you and I will always stay tight regardless of where you live. <laughs> It's not just our family that has to lose out. <laughs> After the results came in, we were talking to Maya, and you know, she says, "I want to move. I want to be in a, a state that, that I don't have to fight for, for my rights to be myself." Very sad. We have to do what we have to do for 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 the family, um, and we have to our losses and move to a state that cares about us. Most importantly, a state where Maya will feel safe. She deserves to be a kid and she deserves to feel safe and she doesn't feel that way here anymore. So it's time to go. It's wild to wake up and realize that in this day and age, we're essentially political refugees. In Arizona, Democrats won big in the midterms, a win for the Trujillos, who are staying put for now. This idea of like states' rights versus federal protections, like we should be weary of what that actually means because that has been used to marginalize people since the beginning of this country. We've seen this over and over and over again in American history. Like if you don't assimilate to white Christian ideology, then we will punish you. We saw this with indigenous people. We saw this with enslaved people. We saw this with migrant youth on the border. And that is terrifying. I refuse to, to, to leave. I, I refuse to, to be put in a, in a position where I get, I get pushed out of society all over again. Our families already came from another country to build a better life here, and we should not be uprooted from our homes. We're willing to put everything in the line. Every, everything in the line. Everyone should be worried. Everyone should be worried because if they're doing this to us, who will they do it to next?
I shouldn't have to be debating my rights and trying to convince you that I'm another human being that is deserving of the same rights that everyone else has. I know that I have to do it either way because you can't really be silent about these things. If you want change, you have to be really loud about it. I'm gonna fight for my rights until I can. We aren't toys to play with. We have feelings and we need bodily autonomy. Let us live our lives as we should. I've been an activist since I was born. I mean, I had to, I had to stand up against everyone. I was like, this is who I am. And I will make this place better for everyone. I'm Michael Learmont, Editor-in-Chief of Vice News. Too often, traditional news outlets shy away from the real stories and experiences of those living through global conflicts, not Vice News. Our report... Yeah, okay. Yeah. That is some scary-ass fucking shit. Like, like I said, expecting people just to uproot their lives and move somewhere that they can't even fucking afford to live, that's just unfair you shouldn't be expecting that of people you shouldn't be pushing people towards that that's just wrong i i yeah there's absolutely no excuse for treating people like that absolutely none <sighs> yeah where is my volume Now it is chillin' time. Chillin' to some ESO. Here we go. It's got weird sounds. I wish I could feel sick. We did, thanks to you. Yay, I got some experience. I love my little pack crack guy. Heliport strike, huh? One good turn deserves another. Oh, no, I don't need to go anywhere else. Getting some flax, finally.
I bet you do. So, excellent. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, so many materials in this area. I'm kind of ignoring the ones I don't have upgraded though. Just so that I can get more out of, like, what I collect. Hello. Another stolen shipment? you between you have the heart of hey okay, we're defending the fort <laughs> where are the portals Come on. 
I'm gonna kill this guy and hopefully he's a portal. I don't see any portals. Where are the portals? Oh, there's one. Close that portal. Is there another one? Maybe if I go up to this person. Yep. What's the last one? Ooh. I missed you. This one? Yeah, this one. Done. The south gate. Then Scar and Lintrek are in over their heads. to see you he went to the keep said all right a master portal huh and then masters master of portals master of portals all up in the sky master of portals i don't know the words to the song sorry oh hey what's up guys Yay! I leveled up. Well fought. Make me outside. Flame. Stamina. Commit. And extracting meh. <sighs> Runes in the world will be easy to see when you are twenty meters or closer. Meh. Provisioning, woodworking, no. Clothing? No. Argonian resistance, thieves guild, world of soul magic, Lida, Lega, leg of d domain. 
No. No. Can I, um... Oh, I can. I'm morph available. What's the morphing to? Ah, oh, that changes it to stamina. Ugh. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna morph it yet, though. Because nope, no morphing for me. Not yet. Has homeless people at all? this beyond evil. Very true. Gamer J? Huh? Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's interesting how people clown on, um, like, countries like Cuba, which have almost zero homeless, uh, like, with the state of their housing, but don't even realize that that's because of the US. <laughs> the US, like, forcing them to not have access to the materials they need to actually build houses properly, yet they still have such low um, homelessness. It's just like, I would rather have a shitty house than no house. Gotta be honest, if I had the choice. <laughs> oh wait, that was the main portal? My gosh, that was pretty lackluster to be honest. I expected more. Fort Zeran? Alright, here we go. Continuing the quest line. His crumbles air indeed. Thank you, my friend. Well, Foyan's done. And our people head as well as. Help who now? You were at Fort Zirin. All those refugees. Good thing you were there. We're still in Fort Zirin! Stupid rumor mill. I need to be level 14 before I can wear the training gear that I crafted. Oh, also, um, no, not you. Goodbye, my friend. Where is it? That's the one. Yeah, that's right, I've got some more warfare. That's why I've got high speed, I think. Holy shit. Too fast! I 
wanted to see if there was more like chests there, but Oh, there is one. Not the quas. Fuck you. Hey. What the hell? Go home. I wonder what the best training set gear is, though. Ah. Still there. Haha. <laughs> No, I want to go up. Are you going to make me, like, go all the way around? Or what? What the hell? How do we get up there? Oh. How do I get up there? It just ignored the flute. If this Nyx hound had
Or at least I helped someone. Or murdered some wildlife. Or both. Certainly finding a lot of chests, though. Heck. Oh, there it is. I have completed the quest. What else is there to do? Well, that takes me to another area completely. That's a quest which I can't seem to access yet, and I need to talk to Esquabawawa. Getting all them room stones. I think when I'm level 15, I start getting the next level stuff naturally. But, like, I don't want to wait until then. I want to level up all those skills as much as I can. You swim now into Balfoyan. I think that's uh, almost everything. I think there's just one more location that I need to um, find before this area is finished. But before that, I'm going to go in this awesome building. I'm going to go in this awesome building. Okay, this looks different to where I was before, but... Yourself. 
Hey. Only when he's talking to you. I did it. <laughs> I can't really do much with the alchemy station right now. I mean, I could probably upgrade it a bit, but I'd need to look at the power leveling stuff. I kind of want to do that first. I don't want to refine anything with this character, just like research and deconstruct, basically. Nothing to deconstruct. Anything to steal? Oh, heaps. Haha. <laughs> Oh yeah. So I picked up gloves of the trainee, which is light. Oh, wait, hold on a second. This is what I've got this thing for. Clothing. Gloves. Training. Ah, I don't have that yet. Okay, well, let's leave that behind. And deconstruct everything else. Yay! See, I'm, I'm smart. I'm smart. Um... Can I, um, reserve for research? Yes! Mods are awesome. Do -do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. I'm gonna steal everything from this town. Do -do -do. Do. <laughs> Never knew what hit it. Hey! I'm still in this box. Go away. What about this box? Oh yeah, I'm still in this box now. <laughs> okay, I'm detected. Who's detected me? Alright, doing it. I stole everything! From everyone! <laughs> I STEAL EVERYTHING! Hey, he's stealing shit now. It's my job. Rude. Alright, so... Oh, uh, blacksmithing. Yep. Done. Now we can get the F out of here. Double check whether I've... Oh! Nope. 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 And no. Nope. Alright. Well, it is 10 o'clock. That is it from me today. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed, don't forget to follow, maybe even subscribe to uh, support the channel. Um, yeah. We've got Discord, everything down and below in the doobly-doo. I don't know how it works really on... Um, the shit I lost my mind uh, I don't really know how it works on mobile so yeah hopefully like that makes sense for me to say to point downwards where's the last thing that I haven't found hidden dagger landing so oh that's north um yeah so until next time take care of yourself take care of yourself and take care of someone else and um yeah i'll be back tomorrow for more bye bye love you all Mwah.